And I am about to play Minecraft, but every single thing that I kill and mine will drop something random. This is something fun you've been able to do using, uh, you know, honestly, add-ons and Java mods forever. However, using the marketplace, you can now do so on an entirely random seed, which means instead of having to use the one world that the add-on creator deems to be, you know, the correct one, instead what we can do is we can find the silliest one, such as a spooky mansion, where, ooh, look how terrifying it is, and we can spawn on top of a Willem mansion, while while still having the random loot drops. I think this is one of Minecraft's more fun, crazy experiences to begin with, and so doing it with the random loot should make this even more silly, in my opinion. So, with that said, let's jump. I guess, you know, I'd say let's jump into it, but really we're waiting. Today I've got a very, very tiny drink can, by the way. I hope you uh, appreciate. I didn't know they sold them this tiny, but I'm looking forward to having a nice beverage. I don't think it'll last the entire way for a stream, but it'll be a lot of fun regardless. So with that said, I also want to say um, that I really do enjoy the idea of uh, goofing off a little bit while still adding a challenge which I can do some fun stuff with. That is why early today I did the Can I Beat Minecraft this small. That's why there are many other silly challenges in the works. But this one always, the last time I did it, there was too much random involved to the point where you could never actually reliably get anything done. Oh god, no, this is, okay. So, um, hello, I am Helper. Oh look, there's a person here. I've got to get to the surface though. Please, you shouldn't, you really shouldn't have done this to me. I don't think that was a good idea. So, um, yeah, that was, t tell me of Helper, what do I need to do? Um, I can't believe that the map spawns me in a place where I'm gonna die. Uh, drop 10 items to me and I'll give you a lucky block. Oh, so it's not just randomized loot. There is something to do with a lucky block involved. Again, the, you can... Oh, sorry, and he's gonna follow me till I do that. This, uh, it would have been a lot handier if the seed had worked correctly. You're meant to spawn on top of a woodland mansion, but instead we've spawned underneath an ocean in a world that literally wants to kill me, but that's fine. I'll make this work, Mr. Man with the... Weird lucky block for a face. And I'm gonna get 10 blocks as fast as I can. Pro tip, I, if I'm not mistaken, because it says 10 blocks, right? Or 10 items. The easiest way to get 10 items in early game Minecraft is always just to break three pieces of wood and you'll do great. That's an amazing spawn, says Polly E. Honestly, this is, you know, oh actually no, I can do better. Um, in an ocean though, uh, that it's usually true. Oh, in the ocean we can get spruce, spru or, or warp fences, sorry. Which means we give him the, the fences. And he starts counting them. Oh. So yeah, we've worked out kelp is fences, and that's fun. Um, but yeah, so um, the, the basic goal is to... Uh, the, the fastest way to get uh, you know, quick drops, because the basic goal here is like, I'm going to try and get as far as I can in Minecraft. Um, but my, my, you know, my actual goal is to beat Minecraft, and my way of doing that is to get as many items as I can. And if I do that, I can get lucky blocks, which sounds like it could either be a, a force for stabilization or for evil. Also, getting food will be really hard, and it seems like I'm going to need it a lot more than normal. So that's something I'm going to keep in mind as I get all of these lovely warp fences. I never even considered that with random loot drops turned on, kelp is such a big winner. In fact, I bet also so is killing fish. I'm going to try killing a cod right now. Because I want to see if uh, animals are included in the random drops thing. You would expect that they are. Yep, we've got some mossy stone brick stairs. Let's see what salmon drops. We've got ourselves a big salmon right here. What are you going to do for me, big salmon? I hope it's food. I really, really, really hope it's food. So, Mr. Salmon, what do you say? Would you like to give me... Okay, a bed. That is honestly just as good. Um, at least you have easy furnace fuel from kelp. Yeah, the funny thing about this is the game did give me... A, uh, you know, like a bunch of warp fences, which isn't useful for the food end of the furnace, but I can use this to fuel up whatever food I do and eventually get, so that's exciting. But yeah, basically, randomized drops, my, my goal is to just try out as many items as I can until I can find stuff like buckets, obsidian, uh, etc. Farm big salmon to nuke the ender dragon. Not a bad idea, actually, Dashi. Um, good to see you, by the way. Also, we got ourselves a, uh, a pig, so I'm just gonna mine this just to... I kind of need to know what's going to be inside the lucky block. I wasn't ex- Oh, okay. A loom, some sandstone, and I I regret doing that. So instead now, I'm going to give him more blocks. And every 10 blocks, he's just going to give me a lucky block. So yeah, this actually feels like I've I've worked out the best way to do this um, in terms of using the, the kelp. It might be the- There's another thing I'm missing. Like maybe we could break flowers, go to a sunflower biome. But right now, we're just going to try everything we can to make any progress possible. Is wood still wood? You better believe it's not. <laughs> it's a bed. Okay, we've worked out two bed colors now. That's useful to know. Um, 
What happens if you uh, break the warp fences? Oh yeah, there's there's multiple layers to this. You're right, KMV. It's one of my favorite things about this challenge is if I now break the mossy stone, I get a pig spawn egg. And if I break the pig, um, by the way, pig spawn egg, I wouldn't have expected to find in there. And now if I break the pig spawn egg, I can find myself something else. And so yeah, we're going on a detective hunt right now. I got yellow wool, but if I break the yellow wool, <laughs> <laughs> I can do this all day. I get andesite, break the andesite. I get a magenta bed, break the magenta bed, get an andesite slab. Eventually, we'll find our way through every item in the game until... Oh, till we get to a dead end. So, yeah. Something to keep in mind, I guess. So, I'm going to get myself some more wood. Because the wood makes something fun. Yeah, so I... I, I but I, I do seriously need to eat. That is not... Um, I, I need to think about... What sources of food can I reliably get my hands on? Because even if I kill a chicken, something you'd assume would get food, there is no guarantee it's not just going to be a coral block. Um, break the flowers. Yeah, the, the so it's all about what takes the least amount of time to break. And I think flowers are really, really high on that list. You're totally right. And they give me target blocks. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, so I'm going to pick up a lot of target blocks because they're so easy. And maybe also break um, grass till we get leaves too. That seems like a good... Or until we get seeds. Because seeds are actually a vex, which I don't think has a drop. So we're not going to be using those for anything besides maybe wither protection. Um, and yeah, we're just going to go into the forest looking for any flowers we can find. I found some and I'm excited for them too. This is This is such a silly way to play Minecraft. But I always love the fact that it really... It makes you think in a different way. So two buttons, break the buttons, and we get, oh, shulker boxes, heck yes. That is actually, although if we break the shulker box, we're not gonna get what we put in it, right? Like if I put in one of these and one of these, and then I break the shulker box, I got bedrock, <laughs> which I can't break. So yeah, shulker boxes do not work as shulker boxes. That is an essential thing to keep in mind. So, um, yeah, the leaf's uh, a, a good bet. Lamau, what a troll. Yeah, that's such a... <laughs> I understand why it works that way, but I also am a little bit little bit hurt emotionally. I need anything that can turn into wood. If I can get wood, I can start crafting things. Yeah, yeah, any any wood is craftable. I, I haven't found any yet, but I bet I'll find one eventually. I just have to break things until that happens, maybe. So this will turn into... A warp mushroom, which turns into a never warp, which I can't use yet. Damn. Okay, so um, we're going to keep on going on the hunt for just weird blocks that we can find easily, and then once I find a big plains, from there I'll work it out. I might even go back into the ocean, get more kelp, and just farm warp fences to get the lucky blocks. I also think that is a valid route. Also, while I've got a gold pickaxe anyway, I'm going to mine some stone base blocks just to see what they have to offer me. It's probably not much, but it's worth a shot, right? Oh, oh, what is that? Have you ever, oh, it's a light block. You're not meant to, <laughs> it's a light block. Well, that is the most useless block you can get in survival, especially if it's a zero light block. So, okay, stone is officially worthless, like zero value, but maybe there's an ore that I can, okay, it's too dark in here. Um, there might be ore blocks of some value to me, but I, I, I've yet to see that. Yeah, light block is such a weird one to find, huh? Um, I, I I think the flowers are where it's at then. We're going hunting for a flower forest. And any flower we find... Oh, cobblestone! Please don't be infested. Please don't be infested. Please don't be infested. It's not infested. Okay, so that is valuable. We can make a stone pickaxe from this, which we will need eventually. A stone sword too. If I find wood, I am now doing incredible... Um, I'm still on the look for wood, though, so maybe we'll, we'll wait a little bit to, to brag too much about that. Also, I found some ore. So that is copper ore right there. Very exciting. Um, this forest looks like it goes on forever until that direction where it might be a jungle. So I'm going to keep on following that. And then tonight... Oh, I've got too many beds, by the way. We're doing pretty well. Toy so cat is random. Toy cat is yes. Glad you liked my pack comment. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you see this, David, or if it's just me, but next to you on... Well, in fact, I don't know if everyone else sees this, or just you, or just me. But um, next to your name, it says, like, most hearted on this channel. And I thought, that's fun. Um, also, I'm going to get myself a lot of shulker boxes now. They don't stack, so actually maybe I'll limit them to just one. 
And then once we've made a shulker box, we're going to break it and come on. One of these things is going to have to give me eventually. Oh, it does. It does. I've worked it out. I found wood. Um, so yeah, every time you play this map, by the way, uh, you get a different set of random items. But now I've found wood, I can do the fun logical thing and start making, say, a crafting table. I could then break a crafting table and get something unique, but we'll hold off on that for now. Um, I want all of these that I can get. This is this is how you find wood in, in, in modern day Minecraft, I hear. You've got to have a lot of shulker boxes, and you've just got to farm the shulker boxes so that you can get some stripped wood. Uh, oh no, so you can get some black concrete powder. Uh, very, very, very normal stuff, so that you can get some wood. That is exciting. I, I am making progress. It took me a good ten minutes, but now I have concrete powder, and I know also if I could make more concrete powder another way, that's another great way to get wood. But for now, I'm going to have to just treasure all of this <laughs> wood that does exist. Um, I think I'm also going to do something a bit wild and break one of these stripped oak logs just in case it gives me something incredible, like obsidian. Oh, no, that's the opposite of incredible. But I can make some things low, so that's not handy. Uh, that's not unhandy. And then we'll break an oak plank. Again, just in case. Uh, never brick. So it's, it's, I mean, but then just in case this gives me something valuable. It'd be nice to know the pathway between various items. Because eventually you might end up somewhere fun. Um, this is definitely going to go, nope, nowhere. Oh, okay, that's sad. Did you not realize that was a block? Mr. Lucky Block Man. Also, why does he follow him me around? It's such a weird part of the map. But yeah, we're now going to make a stone pickaxe. I think that's going to be the most valuable. This gold pickaxe isn't going to last forever, and so I need something. And then also a stone sword, but I forgot the way I got cobblestone, so no, we won't be making stone. Actually, wait, no, it was the yellow flowers, right? They gave me target. No, that was target blocks. Something else entirely. So I made progress, I can say at least, and I'll make a stone shovel too. And between these three tools, I'm, I'm going somewhere, right? And if I break the farmland, that's a different block than dirt. No, it's not. Not according to the game. If I break the crafting table, it's going to make me feel bad. But I also just need to know, oh, a jukebox. So now I can officially play pig step if I find it. But again, I'm very, very, oh, that's cobblestone. Okay, we found the more cobblestone. I am dangerously low on health and I have no idea how I'm going to find some. What happens if you hit the lucky block guy? He looks at me disappointingly, and he says, you can't hit me. I'm a, I'm a friend. I, I, I know what you did last summer. You're not, you're not going to get away with that, friend. Um, but yeah, I, uh, other side. Man, I, I, I do love me some other side too. Don't get me wrong. Not going not gonna to ever say the other side is not uh, the better. It, it's not a disc that's more reasonable. But I feel like Pickstep just has this iconic place in my heart. I think something about the Never update just really hits the spot too. Really kind of adds to that, personally. Also, um, speaking of things that are uh, close to the other side, I um, I think the big goal for today's challenge is to go to the end, which means we really have to be 100% focused on how will I find a village. Because again, no matter what blocks I find in the village and below it, I'm still going to potentially find a stronghold there. But I do need to know where it is early. Uh, because there's so many blocks in the village too that I can break. And potentially turn into something valuable. Um, a lot of potentially on that, but that's fine. Going to make a lot of oak planks, so I'm ready to craft up. And I'm also just going to keep looking around this this weird place we find ourselves. Looking for the cobblestones. Heck yeah. N knowing cobblestone early on is a good one. Like, I can make a stone sword later or something like that. I think getting a diamond block or an everite block or both would be nice. But I think there's just so much involved in, like, crafting those things. That even if I find diamond, it might not be too easy to turn into something. Um, is everyone writing down these block-to-block -block based transitions? It's a good point, actually. There is a there's a translation table in this world that if I can remember perfectly, I will benefit from greatly, right? Also, I got buttons from that. I've already done the button thing. Don't need it. So yeah, I am still walking around, slowly starving to death. In fact, so much so that I think we're just gonna we're gonna do the thing. Let's go crazy. Let's get the blocks. And let's see what those are worth to me. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up and throw it to you. There we go. So that is now two lucky blocks. Wait, I, sw I gave him a lot more than two, I'm pretty sure. But we're going to break both of these. And, oh, okay. Pottery shards and a chiseled never brick. Yeah, this is this is absolutely terrible. It's, it's a good way to break the deadlock if you don't know what you've got. 
but also like, what am I gonna do with that? Break it and then just get something else? I guess that's what I meant to do, yeah. I'm gonna just keep using these blocks to get new blocks. Oh, wow, an enchanted compass, a lodestone compass. Where, what lodestone is this applied to? Oh, it's it must be random. It's because <laughs> it doesn't look like it's attached to anywhere in the world. I'm walking this way and now it's walking backwards. It's a, it's a fun concept though. And then two more lucky blocks. I guess we'll go for them just in case they give me food. I would really, oh, some iron boots. Now we're talking. Wait, the compass. I could make the lodestone compass actually work. So let's place all these blocks down. And then if I ever get lost, I can use the compass, which I just discarded and actually tie this to a lodestone. That's wild to pull that off <laughs> in, in, uh, in early game Minecraft, but I think I just did. And then also we're gonna get rid of this pottery shard, I'm sorry, and put on the boots. I think the pottery shard is a real dead end on this challenge in a not good way too. Assuming that is a good way to be a dead end. But yeah, let's, let's break it, see what we get. Could have made bread with hay. Oh yeah, you're right, actually. Oh yeah, you're so right, okay. I. I can't believe I've done this to myself. I should have, I could have, I've got to remember crafting is the only, oh, and I've got fuel for the furnace now. I mean, I already had the, the things there. I'm gonna make a dead end, um, a place just to, like I don't need free vex spawn eggs, uh, for example. Everything that's a dead end to me, I'm gonna place on the ground here. And then I'm going to break one more block and just pray. Wait, that's food, right? No, that's leather boots and something pink, a cherry boat. That's weird. So I've got a boat. I, I, I'm gonna keep the boat because I think getting across an ocean will be useful. But right now, finding a village is essential. I don't have coordinates on. Weirdly, the map does not give them to you. I could be anywhere right now. Hey, speaking of being anywhere right now, thank you for the gifted memberships. Do, 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 do. So an exciting announcement just to make right now uh, in case you're watching this. Um, is I am going to be doing a member fun, uh, my last stream of streamless. Um, a few people have suggested th this to me over the years, and um, it's something that I've uh, kind of shied away from a little bit, maybe wrongly so. And so I'm doing a uh, a stream where it'll be you know an hour by default. If no one becomes a member, totally chill. No, 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 no obligation. But um, every you know every member that we do get will extend the stream by a minute, let's say. Um, and the goal, uh, you know, with a uh, you know, slight exception, like uh, a lowered amount of gifted memberships. But the, the goal is to be like, we will, you know, try, tr we've got a nice membership number right now, 439. But I feel like we've been stuck there for so long. Also, end crystals, that is insane. I have to say, that is absolutely wild. Also, is, this, is the daytime set in the sky? It is. What a weird map. I, I wonder what they thought they were going for when they made this. There's a lot of, there's a lot of interesting decisions in every one of these, but this one is particularly so. Anyway, now we've got more slabs, which we can either smelt in a furnace or use for goodies for him. And we've got a potential base. I mean, it's a, uh... but we don't need a bed even. So because we don't need a bed, we don't really need a base. Instead, I'm just here to look what's in the chest. Free obsidian, that's pretty nice. Um, a golden hoe with unbreaking, that's better than a wooden one, that's for sure. And a golden pickaxe of efficiency. You know what, that's better than one without efficiency, in my opinion. Yeah, I think I, I think we'll we'll switch out our hoe. And we'll call this a nice set of gear. Um but yeah, I I've got to just accept that I am I've got a long path to go between me and food. I don't know what the path is gonna be like necessarily. But it's it's got some man, just <laughs> there's there's so many weird items. But we're gonna sit here until we can find something that lets us through that portal. Because we have three obsidian, and we need one, six obsidian now. We've got four in here if we really push things, but I need six, and so I need three more obsidian. Which means I could either try aimlessly over and over again, which is what I'm basically doing right now. Don't get me wrong, but uh, <laughs> oh, we got another spawn egg. Okay, what spawn egg do you think this one is? Um, I am curious actually, it's a sea turtle spawn egg. So I'm gonna spawn in the turtle just for fun. Uh, might as well have a friend around. And then we're gonna try breaking some of the other blocks around. So gravel becomes, ooh, a tripwire hook. A tripwire hook can become, oh, a, a blue wall. Blue wall becomes a helmet, okay. So we're slowly gearing up too. That's nice to see. Uh, you don't need to go to the nether. Yeah, you're right actually, the nether is, 
I've got, I'm so wired normally that like I'm thinking like, yeah, we go to the nether first. Because we can get all the nether blocks in the overworld, we, there's no like part of the loop that needs to be done there. We can do everything out here if we want to. That's pretty fun to see. Also, we can get written books if we want. This is... Okay, so we're, we're gonna have to do a lot of looping right now. So let's throw away anything that we've already looped through into the chest. So we already know that can't go anywhere. We know this can't go anywhere, etc, etc. Now we're going to free up some inventory slots. And we're going to go crazy until we have a solution to this question. So infested cobblestone is gonna give me a silverfish. Nothing valuable. Smooth sandstone stairs. I... Uh, a chiseled deep slate and infested chiseled stone brick. Don't know what this is going to lead me to. I guess just a silverfish makes sense. Totally adds up. Should have seen that coming. Chiseled deep slate, on the other hand, leads me into a bamboo mosaic, mosaic slab. There are too many items in Minecraft now, huh? Which leads me to a bone. I can get a dog if I had chiseled deep slate. Okay, that's something. That's, pr that's potential. It's not much potential, but it's exciting. Then we take the smooth sandstone slab and we try the same. I need food desperately. If I get a hay bale, I would I would kill for one of those. Because right now I'm just dredging my way through the, the rules. Also, imagine getting the end portal block itself. Oh, yeah, you're right, KMB. If I could find a reliable way to get the end portal block, I would just need IF Enders and I could make myself a portal. That's not a bad idea to try, actually. Also, do you think you can get... Crying obsidian with a gold pickaxe. I'm pretty sure you can do it with iron, but I've never tried with... Okay, no, you don't get it with gold. But there are some iron bars here, which give me some polished blackstone brick stairs, which then gives me a polished granite, which can then give me a leafs, and the leafs goes nowhere. I, I think this will break into nothing. Okay, so now I'm going to try all the other blocks around here. Stairs, slabs... Oh, an end chest! Okay, that, that end chest is also very valuable. I'm going to be using that. You better believe it. But for now, uh, the... this So this is also quite good. Um, getting wood. I've now worked out another way to do that. Um, I think because I'm going to need blocks of the same variety, that is actually really, really valuable. So I'm going to get my end chests. I think lots of end chests is a good idea too. And then I'm going to break the stairs and then break what comes from them until I get lots and lots of wood. So, where are the stairs at? Your stairs, I'm pretty sure. Yes, you are. Yeah, anything that gives me mud bricks is exactly what I'm looking for here. Yeah, this is this is great news. I am I am slowly but surely working my way through this game. And I feel like I'm making progress in this weird backwards way. It's the strange thing about this is like, I, I think we will be doing effectively nothing until we do everything. But also there's something just appealing about that, right? There's something weirdly... Attaching to that. Are you going to check out any of the marketplace maps with uh, dynamic uh, worlds? I think at this point there's five of them, even though the feature's been out for a while. Um, a lot of the other ones don't necessarily hit my interest spot perfectly. Maybe that's, you know, I'm wrong for thinking that. Also, oh, that's where we got the never brick fence from, which we can then mine into a... Oh, an enchanted golden apple! Yes! <laughs> See what I mean there? We've been starving. We're slowly getting closer to death. But now I've just found a repeatable way to get enchanted golden apples. And so all of a sudden, the, the game has gone from I have no challenge to I think I've worked out how to never have a struggle in my life again. So I'm getting every single one of these never brick fences. Um, I also kind of want to get the, the never act too. So yeah, this ruined portal is single-handedly um, giving me a big leg up on the game. And now we break the never brick fences. Nice and simple. Oh uh, yeah, I love love to see how easy it is. Then we break those, and I've got food for life. <laughs> how ridiculous. I'm not going to complain too much. I am going to tame this wolf, though. Or I'm going to try, at least. I'm never going to get another bone, so... Oh. Thank you for eating my bone and then walking off. Appreciate you, dog. Appreciate you a lot. So Never Fortresses will have enchanted golden apples everywhere. Yeah, you're right. There's a, there's a lot of value in going to the Never specifically just to get those. But I think we could probably get enough enchanted golden apples in the overworld. Although, wait, no, you're saying the Nether Fortress itself will then also be covered in them. So going to the Nether is actually valuable to me. I think I should want to do it. However, first, I'm going to get Cocoa Beans. Then we're going to see what's in here. Please be Ender Pearls. Please be Ender Pearls. Skulk Veins? Okay. I don't think that's valuable to me. But it's nice to know that I could have them if I wanted. Um... We're going to also try with my stripped dark oak logs. I haven't tried this yet, but we need to. 
So we try breaking one of these first of all. Probably isn't going to be that great, but it might. Nope, okay, it's a never button. Then we're going to try turning one of them into uh, planks. And then if the planks don't do anything... Uh, okay, so we got a blue glazed turret. This is, this is almost an impossible challenge. You have to try every single item in the game to try and find ender pearls. If we... Yeah, that's, that's what we have. That, that's why I think we have the guy here. This helps us break some of that randomness up. So we'll do it with... But even if we do it that way, using lucky blocks makes it a very painful and long process. Also, have you ever seen a zombie attack a turtle before? Is this... Is that normal Minecraft behavior? Also, handy. Um, I I feel like that's not meant to happen. I I I may, maybe baby zombies. Uh, you know, maybe maybe zombies are just meant to be a little bit, um, you know, more compassionate in my mind. Also, you get nothing from one of those. Also, why are baby turtles so tiny? It is one of my favorite things. It's like someone applied the uh, the tiny attribute to them a little bit too high. <laughs> it looks like I'm giant and not the turtles tiny. Zombies hate baby turtles. I feel like zombies hate unborn baby turtles. Um, you know, in the same way that, like, I hate children, but I have nothing against, like, I don't know, fetuses that I know of. You know, I, not yet. I've never been yelled at by a fetus, to be fair. Um, you know, ch children have spent, like, thousands of years evolving to be the most possibly annoying things they can be so that you give them attention so they don't die. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to hate the craft. But, uh, you know, never, never, never been in a, in a crowded place and heard like, ah, give me the iPad back. I'm going to embarrass you until you do something that's probably not ideal for Reaper Plus. Also, wait, I've got beetroot seeds now. I can do something fun. Um, this is almost certainly not the solution to my problem, chat. But it is a solution to a problem. If I place a lot of um, beetroot seeds down in the ground, uh, I've only got four, but that should, should be enough. I will eventually grow beetroot, which will give me something else. I might be able to eventually work out how to farm something from there. Um, in the meantime, let's go looking around. I want iron and I want ender pearls. If I found ender pearls before iron, I feel a little bit put out, to be fair. But yeah, I'm just going to try every block in here until we get something useful. Also, is this infested? Of course it's infested. So we're going to get a lot of these, put them all in the same place, and then try some of the other blocks on here. Oh, chiseled red sandstone. Chiseled red sandstone. Chiseled red sandstone, and then something else. And then we'll mine these blocks. Please give me something better. Redstone ore, okay. Deep state redstone ore can be mined with a stone pickaxe. No, it can't. So now I need a better pickaxe or I can't mine these blocks. <laughs> That's uh, a problem in my opinion. On the other hand, targets can be mined. Ooh, and I get sheep. Is that right? No, wolves. Okay, so I'm going to do this anyway because I think having a bunch of wolves on me might help me out in the in the end, I don't know, they could distract. I feel like wolves just being there will give me a little bit of comfort, you know? They'll stop other mobs from spawning, maybe. It's always worth a try, I tell you. So now we're going to try just the last of these blocks I haven't tried out. Uh, that is redstone. Oh, do I need this for anything, friend? Oh, okay, no, I don't. I do not at all. Um, what else? So what, what should we do to maximize the number of blocks we try? I think, I think getting smart and crafty is what we're going to have to do. So let's literally make a crafting table. And then let's make one of every variant of wood that we can. So a boat, a, a slab, etc, etc, all the way through. I haven't tried any doors yet. So let's try those. And then let's also make ourselves a axe. Because we're going to be trying a lot of tools with that. Just the faster we get through these, the better the game is in general. Oh, we got a smithing table. No idea where that came from, but that's exciting. And let's do it. Okay, that gives me a copper block. Not very exciting. This gives me an enchanted golden apple. Yes, very exciting. Slowly going to work my way back through the hunger points using these. <laughs> I, uh, I have to say, very, very fun. But yeah, now we're going to place the loom down. And we're also going to just make up a free inventory slot or two. I can't be dealing with this many random things. I've got to say. Book and quilt. Sorry, you're going to have to go. I am going to place down one of my ender chests. This seems like a valuable way to be like, oh, I might die. Actually, if I'm dying, I won't be able to get this stuff back. But, you know, having a spare bed in there seems like a good idea, maybe. So, um, break every mob. The turtle might drop blaze rods. I don't think turtles have any drops. They might, their scoop drop might be turned into, you know, eye offenders. Which could ruin us in theory. 
But yeah, we're going to be kind of tactical about this. I am going to do something a little bit dangerous. I'm going to see what the end crystal gives me. Actually, I think it'll just explode and ruin everything around it, won't it? But you know what? I need to know anyway. Um, so I'm going to just break this block from behind this pillar. And that was surprisingly fine, huh? Huh. No one... Nothing even expl Is explosions turned off or something? Is like TNT explodes turned to no? Uh, is it- where, where do you find that setting even? Explosives, mob groupings turned on, do daylight psych- okay, interesting. Um, I wonder why that did nothing. I wonder we can attack this guy. Okay, nope, even with this, does not work. Uh, I'm just gonna try and explode this as close to the- to the trees as I can, using of course my- max resistance that I can get. Oh yeah, that that destroys a lot of stuff and gets me some telescopes and an ocelot. If I kill the ocelot, nothing happens. But if I get a... Oh, in fact, one of these signs might do something for me. So I'm going to kill the cow too. I don't think I've killed one yet. Very useful to know what's inside. Oh yes! More armor! You know, I keep thinking there's nothing more that can improve my life. And then I find these tiny little things <laughs> that make me a bit better off. I've got food, I've got most of a set of armor, uh, what do I need now? That is the question, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get back to the crafting game. I'm gonna throw in some more stuff that's just cluttering me up right now. Like this and that and that. Um, and let's start grinding away at what might be the solution to my current problem. So, I haven't tried breaking a sign, unless I did and I totally forgot about it. But let's break that. And what was that? I genuinely didn't see. We'll break a second one. And do it from further away. That is... Oh, dripstone. Dripstone might be useful for something. I'll throw these on the ground because it's probably not. Break the lapis because inside lapis is pumpkins. And if we break the carved pumpkins, we do some weird things. We get lime green concrete powder. Okay. That, that, that could go somewhere. I'm not going to rule out the possibility of this. Lime green concrete powder becomes <laughs> some quartz slabs. Quartz slabs are going to become... It's fun how many loops there are. Like, I could find any of these items and they direct me to another one. Right up until jigsaw blocks where I think you can't break them. Yeah, we we found unbreakable blocks, which is fun. <laughs> I, you don't get to build of these in survival very often. So, I mean, I'm going to take full advantage of that, I guess. Why did you say you wouldn't be able to access the ender chest items if you died? Um, I said that because I think... I'm not- if I die, I'm gonna be nowhere near this. Although, actually, I could just place down my bed right here. And now, what do you know? I can sleep right next to it. And I'm gonna take my blue bed, and I'm gonna see what this gives me. Okay, it's a pitcher pod. So we'll start growing that next to my other crops. <laughs> uh, oh. Wait, do you need to hoe the ground first? You do. Okay. So we've got- we've got some good crop growth here. If I get more bones, I'm gonna dedicate it to those and not to, uh, making more wolves. And we're also going to just keep on trying every possible combination. Because I would like it to be a block I find in the wild that gets me where I'm trying to go. Oh, yes! Steak! So what was that that started that? It was an orange bed, I think, but I don't know where that even came from. So we, we're fine. Um, I am going to just start farming blocks now. I think I have tried enough of the logical contenders, the easy things. So now we're going to just try... Oh, where's my boat gone? I had- oh, no, it's, it's hidden. It's right there. I- by it's hidden, I mean I am blind to the, the- the color pink, apparently. And now we look under the ocean till we find kelp. And we go- we- we're gonna farm an industrial amount of kelp. Um, like I- I want 600 inventory slots of kelp. And then I'm gonna go crazy on it. Is archaeology also random, says Ryan? That's a good question. I think trying to start archaeology would be so impossible. I would like to try it though. You, you got me curious. You got me incredibly curious. So yeah, we're gonna go crazy on this. I love, I love any challenge that gives you an absurd set of rules that seems impossible. Because I do look at this and I say, yeah, there's gotta be a way, right? There's gonna be a way. And so now I'm gonna kill some squid. Because you never know, maybe the squid are dropping the answer. It'd be very funny if they were. And so I don't think they are. Oh, yeah, we got some trap doors. Might be useful. You, you don't know. You we, we, No one can know. Well, I guess actually, someone could probably know. Like, there's, there's probably some code that explains how it all works. Some Someone could dive into that. I don't think anyone has for a marketplace map, but it's it's fun to imagine. Um, break something and get a brush. Um, same likelihood as an enderpearl, really. Yeah, that's a fun way of thinking about, like, the likelihood of getting the things that I really need to beat Minecraft. Is I've got just as good odds of getting 
you know, a diamond helmet or getting, you know, a golden hoe or salmon <laughs> as I do getting an ender pearl. The handy thing about ender pearls is there's two ways I can do this. I can get ender pearls and then later get blaze rods or I can just get eye offenders. Um, I, I could also get, um, the block. No, because the block's not going to have an eye offender by default. Yeah, I, I need an eye offender. So actually beating the game this way is a little bit insane. Except because I, I think the thing that tilts me back in my my favor is the fact that this guy is here uh, to help me out at least a little bit. So let's go break some more kelp. I, I, I When I said an industrial amount of kelp, I meant if I have 600 kelp, that feels like a good amount to me. Um, there should be so much... Or rather, again, I'm calling it kelp, but it is... Actively not kelp and indeed is <laughs> warped fences. But yeah, this should be a really good number. Can you can you pick up blocks from the uh, surface of an ocean when you're in a boat? That's my only question I have remaining right now. But yeah, let's uh, free up some inventory spaces. Or actually, we can... No, we can't. We're, we'll go to land, give him all the items, then free up more slots. So he said something earlier about if I craft nine item blocks together... I get 10 useful items. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to try his way. Of here is an entire stack of items. 6 that that's 8. I think you did your maths wrong there, friend. Okay, you have to do it individually or he counts wrong. <laughs> I you know, I that's that's fine. Ca counting wrong is is a acceptable thing to do, friend. Um, if you if you want to do that, that is indeed your right. I'm going to give him back the pickaxes he gives me. Um, give him that one as well, maybe. And we're going to go absolutely wild on picking up these blocks. Um, and because crafting is usually very hard, thankfully I already have found enough wood to make a table. So I'm doing pretty well on that one. The number on his head corresponds to his IQ, so this can be. <laughs> uh, very good joke. Enjoy it. Um, so, um, I think the... I, I think the challenge here... Hopefully, uh, gets a little bit easier if this is specifically catering to my challenges. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what the super lucky blocks have. But having 19 of these should shift the tide and mean that eye offenders get more likely. I mean, it says useful items, so they must have distinguished in the game what is trash versus what is not. Also, boats are useful. Now we know. Um, whole stack, gotta be at least eight. Yeah, this this guy has not played Minecraft before at all. If he if he's worked out that a stack is actually eight blocks, I hate to see. Uh, you know, he's been playing a bit too much Lego Fortnite or something. Um, what do you think about uh, the Java uh, and Bedrock bundle on PC? I think it's like a controversial thing. Mo Mojang don't like to talk too publicly about how important parity is because it makes people complain. It it seems like it's not a popular feature, but it is one that they want to aim for. There's a there's this weird thing that happens with like any organization that's publicly facing where sometimes the goal of that organization don't line up perfectly with the public's wants. And so how you deal with that is always a struggle. Um and uh yeah, I think Minecraft struggles a bit with parity on this. Like they think it's one of the most important things. And I think anyone would say it is important until it gets to something. Also, did you kill a squid? I did, and I got the bamboo trap door. Which I'm, I've got to say is not the sort of logic I was expecting. But we'll uh, we'll see where that takes us. Because uh, the bamboo trap door will, of course, be broken and give us something else. Which can they br then be broken to give us something else, I hope. Maybe it just gives me a squid. No, it's a jungle sign. So we'll place the jungle sign and then place something else on the jungle sign. And now if we break this first jungle sign... Oh, we get campfires. Campfires are exciting. They give you two things, I think. And so we break the campfires. And we get boots. Iron boots. I'm currently wearing iron boots. That means I must have already done the coal drop before. But yeah, I've got I've got too many pairs of boots. Not really my thing. I'm now going to give him another stack or a half stack and see where he takes that. Six. Yeah, he is randomly guessing the number of items in a stack. So 16 is one. And then another 16 is one also. But if I slowly... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so I've really got to be careful on this. I'm trying to drip feed it, but I did it poorly. Toy Cat, I really enjoy your streams. They are always so much fun. Have a great Christmas. Thank you so much, Bird for Life. I, um, I'm um, i glad you enjoyed the streams, first of all. I think it's so fun to do these... Uh, I think it's fun to... 
do the the silly challenges that we do here. I'm glad that there are people that enjoy watching it. I'm glad that people do enjoy a little bit of a, a deeper uh, stream sometimes too. It's it's something that is promising to me. Also, wow, we can make four super lucky blocks now. Um, but yeah, I, I really do appreciate people like you uh, mentioning it, Bird for Life. And I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas too. Everyone else watching, I hope your Christmas is uh, acceptable to good at best. But you know, Bird for Life, have the best Christmas. The best Christmas you know how to have. So yeah, four, four super lucky blocks, chat. Wish me luck. Oh, there's so much inside of them. Oh, there's so... Okay. So, that is objectively useful stuff. I don't know where my obsidian went. Uh, I need to make space for that. So let's throw some stuff on the ground. Okay, diamond axe, that, that is useful. That is very, very useful. Spruce log, I believe I have spruce planks, right? I do not have spruce planks. I believe wrong. So throw that on the ground. I'm just gonna keep on throwing things on the ground. Oh, a chest plate made of iron. That's an improvement. Uh, sand, don't need. Diamond hoe, could do with that. Diamond hoe, couldn't do with that. A neverite pickaxe, heck yeah. Look at me, chat. I might, I might be beating this challenge sooner than I think. So I've got all of the loot side of my, okay, seeds, by the way, very interesting. I should probably plant those just in case wheat is the answer, but I'm gonna try and resist for now. Um, there's still a lot of stuff I need to pick up. None of it is eye offenders though, interestingly. So let's throw on the ground, on the ground. Ooh, iron golems. I need to know what they're gonna drop, so we'll, we'll make a little hole for them in the ground here. And spawn them in. Okay, you can't spawn iron golems in holes. Um, how big does the hole need to be before the iron golem will fit? That's the real question here, right? I reckon two by two, and he'll do just great. There we go. That's a whole iron golem. And now let's start picking up more things. Iron pickaxe. No! No! Creeper! <laughs> I worked so hard for those items! <laughs> okay, well, um, I do need the iron ingots for shears. Um... If I have shears, I can get three brand new items right now. And so I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna craft those shears. I'm gonna hide away some of my maybe valuable items in here. Just really don't know what I'm doing with these, but I don't think I wanna get rid of them yet. And, uh, oh, a fletching table. See, and and then we're going to go back and pick up whatever we have left. I don't think, I don't think there is a lot left in here. Oh yeah, that's, okay, there's something. There's there's a couple of blocks. There's a couple of uh, potentially valuable blocks here. Two obsidian and a neverite sword. So now we just have to replace that with this. Throw this on the ground. And then I'm going to go pick up all of these. Because I guess they've got some value. Assuming they stack. They do not stack. So now we do the fun thing. Where I come all the way over here. And we say, okay, friend, you're going to take this, this, this. By the way, there needs to be a, a button for this on, uh, keep on controller. Where you can just drop items straight from your inventory. But, uh, yeah, come over here, pick it all up. Give me some more blocks, maybe. And then we'll give them all the warp fences, too. Can we hold down the button? No, we can't. Speaking of things we can't hold down, there's no such thing no as... No such thing as too many kebabs. Mary Stream Moss, Toy Cat, and Toy Chat. Mary Stream Moss. Looking forward to the member stream. This is also a fun stream idea. Smiley face, I'm thumbs glad up, heart. I'm, I'm glad you're liking it, first of all. Merry Christmas to you, too. Hope things go absolutely wonderful in your corner of the world. But um, I also hope that uh, the, the the kebabs do not stop this Christmas. That's actually the beautiful thing about kebabs, you know, say what you will about, uh, you know, there's a, a lot of people have strong feelings until they realize, oh no, yeah, actually, this is really good for my, oh no, 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 my desire to eat well on Christmas day. Uh, I'm gonna just eat one of these real quick. Um, very handy to have on the inventory, by the way. Then we're gonna grab out the other obsidian from this chest. And then we're gonna go sharing some leaves. So sharing leaves has got a low chance of succeeding, but there are three brand new items I immediately get. Pot shards, so never mind. Um, mud blocks, so actually this is pretty good. These can be turned into other things too. So I value that. And oh, it's even better, it turns into warp wood. Okay, so I've got enough wood to sustain myself forever, or I can even craft these into planks and trade them with this guy. Yeah, that's valuable as heck. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go crazy on this one. So um, we're going to we're gonna be trying a lot of things with that. But first, we just also want to try this last tree over here, uh, just in case birch trees give me ender pearls. They give me looms. <laughs> that's very bizarre, very irregular, but that's okay. So now I've got four more wood products to try in addition to all of the other ones. 
So I've got to keep that in mind and also keep my inventory just a little more organized. It's hard to do. Uh, it, it is very hard to do, but I'm going to do my best. So now make some planks. Make a lot of planks, in fact. Then make a warped door. And then, yeah, let's, let's go crazy. So one of these, one of those, one of these. And we're going to break it all in one go. So what you got, what you got, what you got. Nothing good for any of those. Actually, Neverwreck is like something, I guess. And then we'll break the two blocks that we haven't already seen, except we've already seen sand. No, we haven't. We I think we've seen this block. It goes to iron ore, actually. And I haven't seen that one, but it's nice to know that now we can... Oh, we got a candle. Come on, lead me lead me there, game. I'm, I'm willing to follow you on this journey. I just don't want you to keep giving me pot shots in exchange. Um, maybe I should make a... Uh, maybe I should play, make all of these uh, pot shards go somewhere. They, I, it could be that making just the right pot is the answer that I need, right? Because theoretically, wait, does this work this way, chat? If I now take this out and make myself a pot from these, is that pot going to give me different drops based on what it is crafted from? Like it should do, right? I think. So now we break the pot and we get a gasp one egg. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. Okay, let's go for it. Come on. Oh, dear God. Please ghast. Oh. <laughs> but now the ghast. Oh, okay, we didn't get anything from the ghast. But that's pretty fun. Andrew needs pot. He's just like me, says Fizzy. <laughs> I, um, I am sorry to hear about your dependency issues, but it's okay. Um, you know, I'm not sorry to hear about the fact that this is definitely going to be the eye offender. It just thematically makes sense. Never mind. Get a weathered cut copper slab. Which, for some reason, the the copper seems to be mostly broken. But not today. Okay, never mind. We're good. Try the deep slate iron and try the this. Both of them end nowhere. I've gone to poppies before. I haven't done glass, but I don't have silk touch. And so that is a dead end. However, let's try something. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Although that's useful. Let's get a bunch of these shards here, right? Um, just as many as we can get our hands on. And then let's do something fun. Let's make a lot of pots. Or at least two. Because in theory, every one of these pots has a different value. Which means they'll drop something different, right? Oh no, it's always a gas spawn egg. So every type of decorated pot is linked the same way. So it's it's even possible if this is truly random, by the way. Okay, so go. Oh, okay. Never mind. Please, please die. Yeah. What did she drop? She dropped a white shulker box. We gotta try every single one of these at some point. And this leads me into a potato. Okay, so we're gonna slowly start farm from these, I think. Um, I don't think I need potatoes, but it's nice to have something to do, right? Nice to have something to get me closer towards my goal of getting to the end. If I make decorated pots, I can use those decorated pots to get potatoes. But only w the potatoes won't actually grow potatoes. Never mind. I <laughs> it was a good idea right up until that point. I'm also going to kill the iron golem here. <coughs> um, just because I'm kind of curious what he's going to drop. Um, it's probably not going to be iron. I, I would go as far as to say. In fact, I know it is a painting and a blue stained glass. The painting's worth trying, I guess. Um, so place this. Get nowhere with it, place one of those, break it, and get a pff, more stained glass. Okay, well, that's not very fun or serious. But it was nice to try. Respawn anchors are another dangerous block. I'm going to eat an enchanted apple, and I'm going to go for it. Can you... You need glowstone first. That's terrible. Um, I've got all of this packed mud, and so I'm going to make some weird mud brick variants next. Uh, we're going we're gonna to try every variant of mud that we can. Uh, I also think, wait, there was something reason I wanted to use mud by itself. I wanted to break the packed mud, uh, because when you break packed mud, you get warp wood. So I'm going to break a lot of these blocks first of all, actually. Because I think just having a lot of blocks will be handy wherever I'm going. In Minecraft, you need blocks, and if those blocks come from the same place, that's fine. Then we'll make some mud bricks, and then using the mud bricks, we'll make mud slabs. I think I've already experienced mud stairs. But I'm not sure. And then we get oh we we're, we're getting we we can grow sniffers soon. In fact, let's let's just let's commit full full hog to this one. Look at that! Oh, that's exciting. I definitely should get some water by these crops over here because they're they're kind of looking a little bit a little bit sad. Um, 
But yeah, let's let's do it. Let's let's grow some some snipper food, I guess. <laughs> Actually, wait, they're gonna grow something else. But again, might be handy. You never know. And to get the water over there, I'll just dig a trench. It's a lazy way. Uh, or maybe it's not a lazy way. Maybe it's actually the high effort way, if you really think about things. But we'll just go all the way over there and hope that he picks up the blocks as he goes. Can he fall into that gap? He can't. Okay, so we'll we'll make it too wide for him. He's not he's not sinking down for some reason. Is he trapped at like my level? Is that what it is? Will you will you come down here, friend? I've got lots and lots of items for you. If you just if you just were to duck down, you would see all the items that I have specifically dug out. In, in your favor. Okay, no, it's fine. He doesn't need them. I, I respect that. I respect your game. But yeah, that should get us the water close enough, I hope. <laughs> and also a lot of blocks to give to your main man over here. So, is that working? That is working. Four, five, six, seven. So this is a fun way of getting some blocks too. These might translate into something useful. Um, push him in, says. Oh, so, you know, let's see if we can push him in. I feel like he's kind of immune to- Oh, no, you're right. Wow. Oh, no, he- Go down, though. Go- Go down. This is weird. He's being very stubborn about not going down here. You know, what is he, uh? I'm not gonna make that joke, actually. Can I give the guy a lucky block? I- This is such a waste, but I need to know. If I give the mach- The lucky block machine man a lucky block, is that one of my ten blocks that I need for a lucky block? It is! That's a bad deal. I will not be doing that again. <laughs> okay, so we'll give him my uh, prize pottery shards. Come pick him up. There we go. And I'm gonna give up on getting these. No, and I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's slow, but it's it's honest work, and that's all I care about. Yeah. Um. Obviously, the dude is a villager in disguise. It's the only way of explaining his his stubbornness. He was a villager in another life, and he really wants to. Shove it to the guy. But yeah, this is a nice gameplay loop. The idea of like, yeah, if you ever get stuck, just give stuff to the guy. He'll sort you out good. It's kind of nice. Um, I am slowly picking up lucky blocks. And I do know how to get a lot more of them. Because now, if I want to give the man lots of blocks too, I can turn lots of these into planks. And then I can just make slabs. Um, like, I, I got 72 slabs now. I could get way more. Something which I see being quite valuable. We can also break the packed mud. I forget what's in there. Every single time I break it, I forget. Oh, it's th that is why I wanted the thing. Break the packed mud. Get some more of these. Get some a ton of slabs. Although first, let's try a trap door. One of these items is gonna have the key, isn't it? One 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 day, it's gonna it's gonna all work out for me, and I'm gonna gonna feel real good about it. But that day is no. Oh wait wait that okay. Block of neverite. I'm gonna craft this down. Um, I have a, I have the smithing table somewhere. I can make some, I can make some neverite tools. Yeah, look at this chat. Oh, this is the, this is the weirdest way anyone has ever gone to neverite. But I am taking it. No, I need the tech, I need... That, that, that came out eight months ago now, right? Six months ago? And I still have no clue that you need an extra item in there. I don't know how. I am so blind to this fact. Uh, but I guess I'll just give him the neverite ingots then. Oh, oh, it hurts. I can't, I can't do it. I, I want it, I felt like I could do that chat, but I can't. That's not okay. I can't do that to myself. It's not a not emotionally acceptable uh, activity. So what I'll do instead is I'll try out just a couple more blocks, and then we'll go lucky blocking like crazy. I think that's the answer. Oh, piglin brutes. They don't drop anything usually besides sometimes golden axes, right? So, oh, right, we're gonna die if we if we attack them normally. Although trapping them in a hole seems like it works out for me just fine. Oh, need a shield at some point. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's trap them in the hole and make sure there's no way out. Oh, they turn into zombies. Okay, so they've still got gold axes. I've never taken a piglin brute to the overworld before. You know that? I uh, it's a fun fact you might not know about. But I've just, I've just never had the desire to do it. And maybe I've been missing out. Also, we got a little baby drowned in here. He's gonna drop some rotten flesh, which I already know is something else. So there's no concern in that. There is a concern in like, what do I do with this? I guess I make a copper block down in the ground there. And then a block of kelp can be turned into nine dried kelp. So if I just kill piglin brutes, I've got food, but I don't want that. Instead, I'll take, no, my crops! 
Oh, I've already found out what the crops turn into because they don't need to grow up. I've got chest boats, I've got black dye, and I've got more garbage. Okay, that's fine. I like garbage as much as the next person. This turns into a cherry trap door, which might then be something later. Tell me it's something later. Oh, what are, what are you going to be? A goat? Uh, so I'll give the goat to my guy. I don't think it works that way. I'll wait till he rams a tree or something. Um, these could turn into something though still, right? Maybe, maybe. I'm, I'm getting desperate here, chat. I'm getting desperate. Oh, a water bucket. That's actually pretty handy for fighting the dragon. So, yeah, now I'm going to start uh, farming lucky blocks. I'm just going to going to accept that I have uh, reached the end of my usefulness for some of these items and say, you could use these better than me, friend. If it helps me thin out my inventory and you're looking for them anyway, let's go ahead and let's do this. So I'll make some birch planks now because I've already chopped down birch trees. And I'm going to get a silver die, is that? <laughs> it'd be fun to... Oh, grey die, rather. Uh, it'd be fun to collect every single item in this. It's not an impossible task to do either. And if you have every single item... Oh, you could you could make in a chest like a diagram of every item and what it leads to. Like, get a block, then another block, then another block for each stage of the progression. That might actually be useful. Um, so I'll make some birch slabs now. Just in case these do something. Uh, and if they don't do something, it doesn't matter anyway. They just become more slabs. I, I, I want more slabs, that's fine. And then the more slabs will become, obviously, logically, uh, an eye offender. You would hope. You would probably hope wrongly, though. Um, okay, so stripped acacia wood is actually a good thing still. Because stripped acacia wood can be turned into lots of things. It can be chopped down by itself and become a dark oak wood, is that? Very interesting. I need to free up inventory spaces. Um, who is this dude? Can someone explain? Says Merc and Gamer123. Good to see you, Merc and Gamer. It's uh, it's fun to see a new face in the stream. Uh, I am IBX Toy Cat, which is, uh, you know, like a very fun and easy to say username for everyone. And I make Minecraft videos uh, where I kind of push the game in some weird, fun ways. And today, I'm doing that by playing a, a map where every time I break a block... I get something random. So when I break, say, a dark oak log, you would expect to get a dark oak log back, but instead I get a, <laughs> a brain coral fan, which I can't do anything with. Whereas if I break a acacia plank, you would usually expect to get an acacia plank back, but not today. Today we get a cherry sign. I haven't tried cherry signs yet, so I am kind of obliged to at least try them. Let's, let's see what we can do with these. Um, and that is the kind of fun thing uh, that comes from it. Also, um, Minecraft, I thought this was block game 3D. One of the most fun things I did way back when was trying out all the silly Minecraft competitors. Because there are... Oh, oh, that was satisfying. That was very satisfying. Because there are a lot of games out there. Um, also, Leather Horse Armor. <laughs> I can't believe... Can't believe that's what... That's, that's where that whole loop eventually leads. Oh, scary. Um... But yeah, that's they're, 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 some of them are actually like pretty good. Like, you can spot this in any copycat industry. Oh, I got. Wait, why can't I mine the block? Oh, it's not a real oak slab. It's gonna be a petrified one, right? Yeah. See, I, I knew that. Um, I'm smart. Please say nice things about me now. Um, but yeah, in every uh, industry, you've got like copiers who are like just there to like do the bare minimum, and you got people who are like, oh yeah, I I just couldn't make the original. And so it's someone who has, like, a lot of talent. And so this is what I made instead. Also, where are all these mobs coming from? I've got, I've got some real questions about that. But for now, let's ignore those questions and instead just mine some of these blocks. What we got? Oh, skulk catalysts. Or, no, wait, these are calibrated skulk sensors. I don't need them. Actually, wait, I should probably mine one, though. Just in case. Uh, this leads me to the magical place I need to go. Oh... Nope, nothing. I think if you use a hoe, you might get something back. Nope. Okay, valueless, just experience. And so now I am now... I need 18 more blocks, which is very easy to get. One, two, three. Uh, right to you, we go. And with these blocks, I now have got myself enough to make two super lucky blocks. So these are... Uh, yeah, so this is uh, basically as a way to stop you being trapped. This uh, There's a guy who follows you for some reason. And um, if you if you give him 10 items, he gives you something in return. And then if you take nine of those together, you get a super block, which is guaranteed to give you something 
of value. Um, which makes me think at some point that's got to include... But then maybe if the game doesn't know my goal is to beat it, these items are never going to go where I want them to. That's something I've really got to consider too. So gold axe, no, no. Yes, actually. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, I'll eat this right now. Don't want to store an inventory slot on it. A neverite shovel. That means I finally upgraded the last weak point in my inventory. Uh, that's good news. Diamond boots. Heck yeah. Gold chest plate. Don't need it. Spawn villagers. <laughs> Will they trade random things too, do you think? No, they don't. Okay, so we can get emeralds if we needed to. Oh, a totem I'm dying. Heck yeah. Oh, heck yes indeed. So now we've got everything we need except a way to take this game somewhere. So at this point, I could do the logical thing and go find the stronghold. But without a blaze rod, I think that idea hits a dead end quickly. I'm also... Oh, I could I, I could also go to the nether. Um, I think the nether is mostly going to be enchanted golden apples. But that actually sounds pretty fun, so... Also, break the acacia sapling. Oh, yeah, good point. I already know what acacia wood is, but I haven't tried the sapling. So it is worth trying just in case. Oh, green banner. I haven't got a single banner yet. And then that takes me to an acacia door, which is kind of beautiful. Which then takes me to a oak wood, but like the weird oak wood. Which then takes me to one of these, which I already have because I guess oak wood, when you break it, gives you the normal one. And then these take me to never write hose. Well, that's, that's useful, isn't it? Very, very fun. So, um, yeah, all of this stuff I don't need, so I'm just going to give to him. Just slowly but surely, eat it all. It's yours now, friend. Give me the lucky block, though. Thank you. See, I think I'm going to go to the nether. I don't think it's necessary to beat the game, but I do think it will be a valuable experience. Also, look, look at all the netherite tools we're picking up. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, I think it will definitely help something in there. And... Um, Oh, actually, no, I can't if uh, you didn't pick the lucky block up. Oh, you're right. Should we mine another? So should we start mining random lucky blocks again? Because these can lead me down weird new pathways. Like, you know, a dead bush, if I shear that up, now I get to a, a, a Zur Bluet. Like, is this actually the better way of getting where I maybe need to go? I could see it. Um... Black Banner, though? May yeah, I, I think actually, if I'm looking... If the game knew I wanted to beat it, then I would I would go that way. But there's a chance they genuinely are just trying to, like, be like, oh, it's so crazy, you can do anything you want. I want to beat I want to beat this, though. That's always my goal. It's can you get to the end of Minecraft. And so now I just need to know, with my water bucket, can I... Yeah, I can. Water bucket means I can make a nether portal. So I'm just going to break this block here, get something strange and random... <laughs> because that is what we're used to. And then, once we've done that, I'm going to break a regular obsidian too. Just, I'm, I'm so curious what it'll give me. And it'll be good. So what does crying obsidian get? A uh, block? It, there's a lot of blocks that just seem to give you... Oh, what did I get for that, actually? I need to pay attention from further away. I'll, there's so many blocks that will give you one of the variants of copper. It's one of the downsides, I think, of um, doing it this way. By the way, I, um, I grabbed a carrot for a bit in a video one time. You know how, like, people... Nowadays, the YouTuber thing is to be like, so let's talk about this real thing here. So I got a, I got a carrot for that, but the carrot's sort of going moldy on my desk. What do I do with a moldy carrot chat? Have you got, have you got a fun idea for me to turn that into something? I've got, to, I've got to work it out in the next 40 minutes easily. Make a rectangular portal. But you've got to consider at some point, making the extra blocks makes this harder. So I'm just going to place my water here such that it flows backwards. I hope that works. Oh, no, it's flowing these ways, but that's still fine. And now we can place lava there. And now even if I mess up everything, which, you know, always a always a likelihood, even if I mess up everything, the water is still going to... I'm still going to be able to make a portal at some point. So let's go for it. Okay, grab some lava real quick. Okay, thank God that I messed up. Would have died if I didn't. Um, then we're going to place a lava there. And we'll just we'll just finish the rest of the portal normally, I guess. Uh, scoop it up. And the last two blocks go up here, right? Yes, we do have a never portal. Again, this is this is a fun recreational side quest, but I also really want to do it. I it's in, it's entirely unnecessary. I have no valid reason to want to do it necessarily. But sometimes do you need a valid reason? Oh, a sea turtle again. I forgot about that link. 
Yeah, I, th I think we if we got a brand new set of blocks, that could really help us make our goals work here. So let's make a few oak planks. Let's move them over here. And then we just have to light them on fire, which I realize... Okay, there's a lava... Lava survived, thank God. Okay, so here is how I make a lit portal. You might be surprised to learn, unless you watched my... I, I, I played Java for today's video. And so uh, you, some of my fun trials and tribulations are playing at that edition. Um, kind of got out there. Oh, actually, wait, I just realized... I, um, I tweeted something on Twitter, I scheduled it, and then I did not come back to it, so it just says, like, a Fred, and then I, I haven't tweeted the things underneath it. Whoopsie. I think I can fix that right now. Let me see if I can. Okay, okay. So everyone in chat, take a second to look around the never, while I realize my, one of my... <laughs> it, feel, it feels like it's performance heart. Um, okay, so, um... We'll quickly. Oh no. Okay, so the helper has spoken to me again. This is entirely understandable. Um, but yeah, from this biome, we should be entirely safe to do nothing, right? This is famously a place where you can just leave leave yourself around, and nothing bad will ever happen to you. I'm pretty sure that's how this works. So, oh god, I heard something. Did you hear something? Was it just me? Okay, it was it was just me. We're all good. So just open up the inventory. And uh, yeah, there we go. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tweet a thing, chat. It's very important. I, I assure you. Um, do 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 do. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I have never tweeted. I don't even think I have an account. Um, I think, I think it's one of the more bizarre social media in terms of like what it does for people. Uh, for best and for worst. Also, yeah, now we're gonna kill hoglins. Oh, why do I have a diamond sword on me, by the way? We're gonna kill hoglins, see what they give me. I assume it's basically the same stuff we've got elsewhere. And I'm also going to take this opportunity to break down a... I got rid of the diamond axe, I didn't realize I needed it. To get myself a brand new... Oh! They give me mangrove wood. That's fun. It looks like I'm just stripping the block now. And then I can break the mangrove wood. And that will give me... Oh, a clock. And I can drop the clock on the ground as, as a preemptive defense. Um, yeah, I feel like most people... There's something odd about Twitter that, like, only appeals to people because... I Actually, you know, actually, what, what I think is interesting about Twitter is the incumbency advantage that it proves is that it's the only social media that people despise so much that they swear they're always leaving and yet still manages to, like, come out on top, uh, like, all the time. It There's something about that that has to be said, right? I... I don't know what it is about human beings that make us this way. Uh, also, redstone comparator. That's fun. Redstone comparator becomes mud. Mud becomes stairs. How many items are there? What are the actual odds of me getting uh, this every time? I, I want to know. Chat, do you know how many items are there in Minecraft? Like, blocks, items, everything, all combined. I feel like... Oh, magenta terracotta. I feel like there's so many just based on doing this challenge and seeing how many things aren't giving me what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. We're in something. And now we're into this. Thank God for my clock. See how perfectly located that was. And then as soon as we get something that's a dead end, we give it to him. I'm going to go find a nether fortress now because that's how I get more enchanted golden apples. Um, I would like more enchanted golden apples for when I eventually can get this going. Also, I'm going to break every mushroom we find on the way. Just in case, you know? You never know what you might find. The if, if one of these easier items gives me something great, that would be really handy. Uh, I do have to say. Do have to say. But no, we, we get coral instead, which are going to immediately die. Or maybe they're not. That's nice. What's this going to give me? Shears! Whoa! See, that's handy. I, I wasted two iron on shears for no reason. Of course, we, we also stop... Um, anecdote, but my wife and I both stopped using Twitter. Um, of course, we also stopped using Facebook, MySpace, AOL, Instant Messenger, IOQ. Yeah, but the thing is, is, so the one social media I know of that survived everyone, air quotes, quitting it was Facebook. Because at the same time everyone, air quotes, was quitting it, they had a bigger group of people joining. I, you know, I could theorize that that's actually what happens with Twitter as, you know, people are leaving. Because there is a non as unsubstantial number of people that are leaving. Uh, but it could be they're picking up a new audience that they are... 
Uh, you know, the existing audience was not as profitable as their new one, either because there is not as many of them or it's smaller numbers. It's hard to be sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, also, by the way, this, if I'm not mistaken, this is the block. Oh, dear God. Also, look, you can catch fire. That's fun. See, I've already tried out all of the blocks around here. The only thing new to try is, wait, just in case. I feel like we should try this, right? What happens when we kill an Enderman? Do you think there's a chance that we'll get something more valuable from him? Like, usually we kill Enderman so that we may get Ender Pearls, right? Um, but what happens if I kill an Enderman when the dro drops are random? Will he give me a blaze rod? That would be fun. Honestly, Minecraft but random drops could be fun if you, like, specifically organize uh, the drops in a certain way, right? I feel like you could make the game deliberately more challenging than random if you wanted to. You could do some real silly stuff. Oh, wow, ow, ow, ow. Don't do that to me. Disapprove. Also, where did my, where did my, uh, my, my Enderman go? I was trying to kill you. Very rude of him, not to realize that I had ambitions of murdering him. I, um, use the end crystals. Honestly, it's not a bad idea. I, I want to wait until I get more, um, enchanted apples. Because I am just getting beat up right now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's probably a faster way to... Although I can't use them until I get, uh, more obsidian. I need a lot of obsidian before I can use the end crystals. So let's eat another one of these, just to keep myself stocked up. <laughs> and let's see if I can't find a nether fortress somewhere near here. If you place a block between the crystal in your feet, you won't take any damage. If you place a block in the crystal between your feet, you won't take any damage. That sounds like interesting advice. I won't be taking it on this occasion. But I appreciate- Oh, so camp, good damn. Level horse armor. I, I am, as you can see, slowly getting my way through every single item combination in the game. I will find this- this- the elusive ender pearl. Um, in fact, I think- I think the fastest way is going to be going back to the overworld, making mud blocks, making slabs, and doing it that way. I think after spending some time here in the nether, I've concluded that I was- oh, No, I, I want the food, though. I really want- if I could have a stack of these enchanted golden apples, I feel like I'd be immune from everything. Um, in the way that we all dream of being, um, I assume. But I am not that right now, and that makes me sad. Check if the crimson uh, warp vines uh, slash leaps. Oh yeah, I haven't tried the vines yet, actually. I've got shears, so it would be worth giving it. It'd be crazy if this was it. Nope, it's not. It's more, it's more weathered wax copper slabs. It always is. You think you can trust someone, and then you realize that deep inside, they've always been a waxed, weathered copper slab. They've just been pretending to be something else. Um, it's terrible. It happens to the best of us. So, um... So, yeah, what are your specific reasons as a creator for using Bedrock Edition? Um, I've considered before... So, if you play Bedrock Minecraft, you can either see it as you have a handicap on you, or that you're kind of playing to a slightly different audience. I kind of see it as a unique factor um, to this channel. Like, I, I'm surprised, you know, to, to my to my mind, I would expect that a lot of people who play Bedrock don't like that they only watch content that doesn't match how they actually play the game. Um, my reality of the experience is that most people don't actually seem to care, um, which is, it, you know, if, if parity is doing its job, in theory, that more people should be thinking that. But, um, yeah, also glowstone or the tree lights. Yeah, I think the, uh, I think glow... What are they even actually called? The shroom lights are a good bet, and so is, uh, glowstone. There are not many other blocks that I can realistically try until we get over to a different biome. Which is very much my goal. Because Neverwatch just aren't doing much for me right now, let me say. Okay, let's, let's go mine a shroom light. See what it gets me. Come on. Oh, what is that? That's something fun. Cyan Terracotta. Honestly, a Mesa biome would be incredible. Maybe we should refocus on that. If I can't find... Um, I'm going to go find some magma blocks. So I can get some food as my backup. And then I'm going to... Because yeah, mag magma blocks turn into whatever turns into Enchanted Golden Apples. And then once I've done that, I'm getting out of here. And I'm going to go find the most interesting biome I can. I have to eat my last Enchanted Apple because I'm a little bit low on health. Um, 
So to generate job creators make your channel unique and appeal to more bedrock uh, using uh, audience. So the actual reason, like, um, th so there's this kind of thing that we have as uh, people. Uh, you know, I'd love to tell you, um, I'd love to tell you I've got this, like, genius business strategy and that's the whole reason I do what I do. But actually, to, to, get, to give you the real frank reason, it's because... Uh, you know, to get, like, rather than the later why I worked it out, why, you know, there's why did I start and why do I continue? And why, why is it maybe smart to do the same yourself? But to give you the answer is why I personally do it. It's because I used to play a lot of Minecraft console. I love Minecraft console. It's where I got my start. Um, and then eventually Minecraft console, um, went away and was replaced by the Bedrock Edition. And so, it kind of like, all my worlds naturally followed me. And so it's like, oh, I guess, guess we kind of have to give this a try now. So yeah, I'm gonna, once I've got all of these never brick fences, I'm officially in the money as far as food is concerned. This is a fair backup to finding a never fortress. And you know, it's not like blazes are gonna give me anything valuable anyway. Um, I hope that I am correct in assuming. And so now we got all the never brick fences in the world. And also there's blackstone here. That turns into a boat chest. <laughs> <laughs> a jungle boat chest, to be precise. We're gonna break one of those, just in case this is something, too. So... Oh, okay. Nope, not very good, I don't think. I feel like I've had a smooth sandstone slab before. Maybe I'm feeling wrong. But now I just need to break all of these as quickly as I can. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Good news is it's very easy to deal with these types of people. Um, they all do not like lava. Okay, I'm getting, getting hit from another side now. They do not like lava. That is what they all have in common. Um, there we go. They're all burning now. Perfect. Oh, no. Not perfect. Not perfect. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I would specifically like it if you did not kill me. Um, I just need to break one of these to make an enchanted golden apple. But I'm just being swarmed right now by never spawns. Hey, thank you, Tracy Coletta. Thank you so much for the massive tip. Uh, that is absolutely incredibly kind of you. Eat one of these real quick. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Um, thank you so much. I, that is, that is a big Christmas tip. I hope you're doing wonderfully. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying today's stream. Or at the very least, that you've been here long enough, uh, to say hello. And I hope that you, uh, have a merry, merry Christmas. I hope you ha your Christmas goes desert well, indeed. Okay, now I'm back at the scene of the crime. I'm gonna spawn an iron golem, as I've already done. And I'm gonna enjoy, oh, so many enchanted golden apples. So many enchanted golden apples. That was stressful, says Everett Lewis. So that's the last time we'll need to be stressed ever again. I've got a lifetime supply of golden apples worked out. I just need to go find my nearest stronghold. Um, also, he's just very unique as a YouTuber in general, says Cyanide Poisoned. Yeah, I feel like there's a part of that too. Like, I, I do like, you know, I, I, it's kind of me being like, yeah, I'm not like other people. But it's, a part of that to me is like, yeah, I play a weird version of Minecraft that you probably don't see much of otherwise. I try not to do like, oh yeah, here is what every YouTuber is doing. Here is just me doing that same thing. I um, and I think that's probably one of my like biggest downfalls as creator, is that I don't like jump on a trend as easily. Uh, I haven't just decided to be like, oh yeah, I see the SMP is a way to uh, lays down on the content a little bit and focus a little bit more on the human interaction again. But um, okay, let's let's go. This is fine. Nothing is a problem. I am doing great, and I'm never going back in that dimension again. Also, thank you so much, Tracy Kletter, for gifting five memberships. How am I dying? Oh, thank God I had the totem, but I don't anymore. Okay, so the good news is he's going to vanish in 10 seconds, and then he won't be my problem anymore. I love love some pig step. Perfect timing for it, by the way. Perfect timing. Um... Yeah, I uh, took out a lifetime supply of golden apples till he falls in lava. The trick is, I have to continuously eat the enchanted golden apples, such that I always have that saturation, or the, I guess you call it absorption. Look at my enchanted golden apple supply. I can't believe I found enchanted golden apples before I offenders. But sometimes in life that happens. You're looking for one thing, you find another, and you make it work. You make it work the best you know how. Also a fox. You think I can kill him and get something? You know what, I'm gonna try anyway. Oh, fletching tables. I think I got those from berries earlier, actually. But you never know, maybe, just maybe. So I'm gonna give this guy my horse armor. Thank you so much. Uh, I Oh, no, I, I threw one of those on the ground. I shouldn't have. 
Okay, I've only got one left. I gotta gotta treat it carefully now. Oh, okay. That's my first frog light today. And that's my first composter. We're, we're going down a whole new rabbit hole right now. That's another banner, which creates... Oh, a, a, an echo shard. You can have that if you like, friend. I think I'm going to make myself a lot of sticks. Every two planks is four sticks, which is the same ratio as making uh, slabs. So I think I'm just going to go crazy on it. Oh, that was all the sticks I can make. Okay, won't go that crazy then. Thank you, Tracy. Hope you're doing wonderfully. I insist quartz block and gold block. Tried it. I haven't tried both of those yet. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I have not tried those things. Maybe I should. I, I see your logic in trying them. Also, I'm going to get my diamond axe back out. I'm going to put the lava bucket away. And also put the ocelot away. There's just some blocks in here I really don't need. Now we're going to go crazy on the regular lucky blocks. Okay. This is, this is my moment. What am I going to find? If I can find anything that reliably turns into ender pearls, that's actually better than if I can find uh, ender. If I get ender pearls in one of these, like I'm screwed almost. Like I can't reliably re-get it. But if I find something better, that might help me. Weighted pressure plate light. I'm just going to place it all down on the ground now. Anything that can't be turned into something, I'm just going to give to him too. So like a phantom, he's going to give me a drop actually. So I need to, I need to kill him. Don't, don't you run away from me, friend. Don't you do it. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. Okay, he's going to die. And then the phantom membrane becomes... Okay, he didn't drop one. That's a disappointment. <laughs> what a waste. On the other hand, calibrated skulk sensor. That's for you. This is for me. Oh, it becomes iron bars. Already tried iron bars. Don't need them. Weighted pressure plate becomes a button. Button becomes a vines. I've tried vines. They're for you. So yeah, this is the attitude we have to have. We're going to keep trying items, and once we've tried them already, we know they can't possibly turn into the thing we're looking for. And once we know that, they're worthless to us. So we're going to place all of these items down. Every single one of them. Give these to him, and then do another break round. See what we get this time. This, that, and oh, we got bells. That is very unexpected. And then the stone slab is new to me. And it gives me a slime, so that's fun. Uh, but that's not for me. The bells, on the other hand, this could be this could be magic, but it's not. So you get the bell and you get the gold hoe. And then this is going to be oh a mangrove stairs, which is going to be a cobblestone stairs, which is gonna be okay. This is this is exciting. We're going down a long rabbit hole right now. Because the cool thing is, the longer the rabbit hole before we get to where we want to be, the better our odds of success are too. Um, try de-waxing the copper. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. That's actually a very good idea. I think I left some copper lying around somewhere. Um, this is cut copper. Okay, yeah, we need, we need, we need non-wax copper in large quantities. If we get, yeah, if we get something that turns into copper, like, uh, I think one of these things does. I don't know which one it is. Um, okay, it's not that. Is it you? No, okay. So one of these things, we can, like, de-weather it. And if we de-weather it, it will give us something else entirely. That's useful to think about. I don't know how I'm going to use that information. <laughs> but we're going we're gonna to try de-waxing blocks to get us somewhere. Or not de-waxing, de-aging. Um, block of gold, I haven't tried. That's actually exciting. Nope, it's not. <laughs> it's just a sapling. <laughs> uh, break it anyway. Oh, and it's a dark oak sign. Break that anyway. And it's dripstone block. We've done dripstone block, but I forgot where it took me. It took me to a piglin brute. So, yeah, the, 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 the cool thing about having now tried most of these items is we are running out items that we haven't seen somewhere in the path. And that is promising. Oh, okay. Polished blackstone. Because if we found out, for instance, polished blackstone slabs had eye offenders, then we'd be able to really easily use that information uh, in a way that we currently sort of cannot. Uh, Minecarts can't be placed down on the ground, so that's a bit of a pain for me. I am going to keep it, though, because at some point that minecart will come in useful. I don't know when that point will be. I'm going to need some iron, I guess. <laughs> For now, let's try some other blocks, such as uh, cut copper and the polished blackstone stair bricks. So this becomes granite, and this becomes what? Oh, okay. So we got 
leafs. Leafs become stairs for some reason. Green concrete becomes a pressure plate. So we break both of these now. Okay. Oh, a turtle helmet. That's cool. I don't need it, but it's cool. I, I, I like that we can get to these weird eventualities. <laughs> and now stripped acacia wood's going to have to become something more friendly and interesting too. So I'm going to make myself a door from this. I'm pretty... No, I tried the acacia door in the never by accident. So yeah, I've... I've got to resist doing things I've already done because I know where they go. Um, so we're just going to throw these down on the ground. You can have them both. And instead we'll try, for example, a dark oak fence. I don't know what this becomes. And if it becomes something fun, I would like to know. Okay, there's a, there's a lot of trying in here now. We're, we're, doing the, we're doing a big grind, chat. But the big grind must be done. And so it is me who will be doing it. Come on. One one day, one of these items will be for me. Um, so what else could we actually make uh, progress with? I think we should we should start questioning what else do we need, because as I'm slowly getting up in the you know in there with the stuff, I think I am starting to get further away from the likelihood of any individual item being massively useful. Okay, that's another another shard. Don't really need that. Although actually, you know, that's exciting. What's this gonna be? It's gonna be a polar bear. Polar bears will drop fish when they die. So I actually don't need them. We'll give him the polar bear. Um, and so then we'll come back and we'll try uh, oak slabs. I feel like we've tried. We'll try some bowls. Nope, that's not, we can't break bowls. <laughs> a barrel I haven't tried, surprisingly. Uh, what do you get when you break a barrel? You get a pitcher plant. So that's very odd. What can I do with a full plant? Just place it down on the ground and then break it again and get... Oh, yeah. I can. Oh, this is promising. I, I, I'm saying it's promising like we're... Like we have any chance greater than any other chance. Mm. But it's nice to believe, right? And now we're going to kill the tropical fish. Um, and once we did that, we got what? We got an ink sack, I think. <laughs> so it's nice to know. Also, we got another Pokemon dying. So... My, my death situation is now no chance. So I, again, I, I, I've got a lot of problems solved, but not the big one. The big one is going to be tricky. So I'm going to start trying the lucky block route again. I think it just makes more sense uh, than all of the, the nonsense we're trying otherwise. I'm still going to try all the unique blocks that I get. And I'm still going to hope, just hope that I find something in here. Also, knowing that that sapling gave me XP bottles... That could be useful information. Not right now, but like in general. There's something useful in that. But for now, let's just tear all of these apart. Get all the mud blocks in the world. Because I happen to know that when you break mud blocks, you get something even better than mud. Actually, you know what? Getting this much mud to be destroyed is tricky. So let's, uh, let's be tactical about this, right? Let's place it all down over here. Okay, so just make a lot of mud all in one place. And then once we've placed all of our mud, we then place a end crystal in there. And once we do that, we just have to explode the end crystal. Yeah, that was smart, probably, maybe. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, let's just stack up into the sky. And then each of these wood blocks is worth four planks, which is eight slabs. So we can basically get a lucky block for every single one of these packed muds that we mine. Which feels pretty good to me. Did you try mud brick walls? I have not tried mud brick walls. I've got to got to be honest with you. I there's a lot of there's a lot of variants of existing blocks that I could go through trying, but I just assume I'm going to get it at some point otherwise. Uh, maybe wrongly so. Maybe it's a foolish gambit to assume that. Also, I love that he can come up with me, uh, but he, he didn't want to go down. You you know, it's a it's a telling point on society uh, that that he'll do that. Gotta say. Anyway, uh, speaking. Of things I've got to say. I, um, I've had a pretty good day today, chat. I, uh, I've been working on, uh, some stuff, uh, like for, I, I feel like there's a inherent, a lot of people, like, look forward to, like, Christmas as, like, oh, yeah, it's time off work. But when you like your work, and especially when you do work for yourself as a self-employed person, it can be, like, a scary time, um, to be like, oh, I've got to, I've got to balance all those non-work things I want to do by being prepared for it. But also, I'm, uh, right now, I'm in the middle of, like, Sort of trying the opposite, like trying to really up the quality on the channel in a very major way. And so it's like a scary, like, oh, can I 
Do doing both things at the same time seems impossible. But I, uh, I'm making some stuff that I'm pretty, pretty happy with. I hope that you'll be able to say the same uh, once you see it. But for now, let's make too many warp slabs. And then uh, let's give them to your boy over here. Um, also, um, I, I want to say, uh, how much is the pack? Uh, it costs 660 mine coins, about $4. Whether that's value or not is a hard thing to ascertain. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to also pick up these lucky blocks just to make sure. Actually, I must have picked them up already. But yeah, I want to, I want to make sure that I pick up so many lucky blocks that it's just a given that I will Started be the game new world today. Promptly found lava pool and village. Went to nether, in crimson forest without gold armor. Dug through all for gold. Saw nether fortress, now farming blaze. Wanted to tell someone who'd care. That's Run pretty. Shagging, party face, heart. That's pretty cool actually. Congrats on getting uh, blazes so quickly. I I feel like for most people, for me, like getting blazes is cool because you get blaze rods. But for most people, you get a really great source of fuel. And you also get an amazing source of experience just immediately. Can't you drop the whole stack? Uh, when we drop the whole stack, he seems to count it as just like one or two items. It is a bit annoying having to do it manually. Like, uh, let me show you with the... Uh, I'll show you with uh, this right here. No, wait, I'll, I'll make a stack first. So, uh, if I make myself a stack of warp slabs, as I have done so. If I, if I throw, say, six of them on the ground. So he's currently on six. If I give him five, that should get him up to the next level. But I give him five and it counts as one. Uh, I think he's improperly coded. It is annoying having to just spam the button. Uh, do have to say. Uh, we can do it this way too, but it's also just a necessary thing. Can someone tell me the play skin uh, and app pop up? Or was that a prank? Um, <laughs> we'd love to. It's a prank. It's uh, YouTube's new thing is rather than doing like a ad break for everyone, they try to like uh, like space them out so there's not just like a time when no one's watching. But um. Yeah, it's, um, I believe 660 mine points. Uh, but again, you can find out what that means for you in real money. Because uh, that's what more people care about, I would assume. Okay, so where did that spider come from? He definitely spawned in randomly, right? Like, the, I think the that must be a part of the challenge of the world, as they just randomly spawn in mobs. But yeah, I'm going to go absolutely hog wild right now. I'm going to give give the game my sheep. Actually, I could, I could probably use the sheep. I'm going to give this man everything I have that is potentially holding down my inventory. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little bit too crazy right now. Just a little bit, and we're gonna see how that goes for us. Okay, so, lucky block one, two, three, four. Any, any items, we immediately give back to him, by the way. There's just, I don't have value in a Nautilus shell. Um, and then any other items, we any non-items, we place down. And we see what they become. And then, ooh, what is this? A Vex spawn egg again, funnily enough. And then we break these blocks, and we see, also by the way, bedrock is no value. Um, pumpkin seeds, I can break the, I, I, if I place these down, and then break them down, I get something else. No, I don't, I get nothing, whoopsie. Um, stubble tall grass, no value. I can find that everywhere. Purple candle though, that has value for example. And so we have to go through and do this with all of the items that we got from the items. Until we get salvation. We place them down. And then oh, I, I need a way to deal with my minecarts. So I, I need to find a minecart rail somewhere in here. And I need to keep it. Uh, and once we get these items. They are for him and not for me. So for you. And... Oh, a neverite helmet. Knowing that you can get neverite helmets from buttons. Feels like something I could do something with. But I don't know what. <laughs> I just don't know what it would be. So I've gone down this rabbit hole before, but I don't know where it leads me. No, I haven't. I I have not been to the point of dripstone. That's exciting. New territory chat. No, it's an LA. I, I, an LA would be a cute. It'd be a fun little bonus, but I don't know what I'm going to do. If you, I'll give you my fern, I'll give you my minecart TNT. Go find those if you can, friend. <laughs> okay, so I'll try these blocks next. Uh, just in case. Maybe they... Nope. Absolutely nothing. Polar bear, never right hope. Sounds pretty good, but in reality, pretty bad. So then we're going to try even more lucky blocks. I'm still proceeding under the assumption that they don't care if I go to the never or not. Uh, or rather, if I go to the end. 
And because that seems to be my experience. Okay, so twisting vine, that's exciting. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. We got two new ores. Ores are exciting potential. If we can get something from them, I could find it quite easily. Vindicator is going to give me an interesting piece of loot I wouldn't otherwise expect. No, he's not. And a candle is going to give me a deep slate, which is going to give me... Ah, I was just... Okay, perfect. Perfect. Exciting. Now I can get myself... Although I think a detector round might do bad things to me, but I can now get this going and break it and get a diamond ore, which I can break to get an, a hanging sign. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hardest challenge. You know this I was worried at the start of the stream like you know this is gonna take me like 40 minutes I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of like I don't know like it's gonna be gonna be too short people are gonna say toy cat You can't do a 40 minute stream. I'm starting to think it might go the opposite way. I I I'm, I'm starting to worry this is undoable to me because I'm <laughs> I keep ending up at these same uh, logical endpoints Okay, so skeleton skull that could go somewhere exciting if we just you know, oh, we get a we get a, a mob head from that, which when we kill it, we get a mossy cobblestone, which gives me a saddle. Again, that's for you, friend, <laughs> not for me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna share these blocks because they seem to give me something new, and then I'm going to mine it, and it's gonna give me a stripped crimson hypho, which is then going to give me a white concrete, which I think then is back where we've been before. So orange terracotta into a Zoglin. Well, that's fun. Not for me though. <laughs> I've gone for so many spawn eggs. Uh, people have done um, many six hour long streams just to finish this sort of challenge to sacrificial lamp or five, six. Guess we're digging our he heels in then. Okay, so um, these are ferns. I've already turned these into something. Um, just gonna place them all on the ground. Don't need them right now. The blue shulker box I've already done something with. The jukebox I wanted to keep, but I'm just going to accept. I'm going to have to break this. For a totem. Jukeboxes equals totems. That is an incredible, incredible find. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to need another totem. But it's nice to know I'm covered if I do. Then we're going to turn this stuff into sticks. Uh, just all, all my random stacks. I, I thought I'd need them. I found a way to never need them again. Turn it all into sticks. And see if we can't get this. Um, so cat can't stream for too much uh, longer because the kebab store might close. <laughs> uh, you know me too well, uh, Dan. Um, I, uh, what I, what I really wanted to go to today is there's a place in London that's like incredibly fancy. Uh, like I, it's, it's one of those places, you know, like, uh, it's, it's like one of the, it's one of those department stores that people come from all over the world to see. Um, it's, fa it's fairly close to me, I, I learned recently. And so, um... Yeah, I, uh, it's it's a major department store, but they ha and they have a lot of desserts that cost like six pounds each, and so it's like at that price, you know, it's 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 pretty wild to me. But they uh, just before they close, they've got like a, a really good discount on all of those desserts because they're like, well, we're gonna have to throw them away. You can have them for seventy five percent off. And to me, you know, like paying paying like a pound for something that would otherwise cost you know four, five, six, I that's that's my type of thing. I love love some good value sometimes. Um, also, that is a weird drop, but useful to know. No, I've gone down this path before. You can have it. Don't need it. I've already had the acacia wood. I'm now going to go grab the minecart out of the chest, actually, because I had that a while ago. And I'm going to see what breaking a minecart gives me. Because if I... A minecart would be fun. I could do stuff with that. Okay, soul torch could also be fun. Um, whatever type of leaves these are could be fun. Oh! Okay, what was the process? It was... Uh, soul torches became one of the types of leaves. One of the types of leaves, chat. Which one was it? It must have been a... Was it... Why did, it was the one leaf where I didn't know before I... I figured it wasn't going to go anywhere. No. Also, Tuxin has opened in Las Vegas this month. You haven't been to either one. I, uh, I almost, uh... I, I wanted to go to Vegas so bad. Uh, I did, since leaving, it's been the most tragic thing, uh, that I have not gone. Okay, chat. Um, Dark Oak Leafs. Okay, dark oak leaves I can work with. Let's let's make it let's make it happen. Um, I'm just gonna break a few more blocks just in case. I've got the things anyway, right? Um, but I've I found my solution. I found my solution here, chat. Um, I'm gonna try the blast furnace, and I'm gonna try this. Okay, that's exciting. Um, I have far too many blocks <laughs> for what this is. 
But now I just need to go find a roof forest. I'm also going to see which direction I should go. That way is towards the stronghold, and so we'll find the nearest dark oak forest on the way. Oh no! Okay. That's fine. I should have expected that. Um, I can get so many more now. I am ready to go kill the dragon, I guess. I don't have a bow and arrow or anything. But it, as, as apparently discussed before, we don't need those things. Uh, all I need is dark oak wood. This map sure is wacky. <laughs> I would agree with that sentiment. I, it is a weird way to play Minecraft. Um, oh, we got a raft. That is that. It's funny how perfect timing that raft is. Actually, look at me. I, I need one exactly now. So I, I need a roof forest though. I need one pretty badly. Uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll we'll find one. It's not an impossible thing to get your hands on. So I'll actually stack up uh, from around about here, somewhere where I know I can fall in the water. I can't place the coral block down here, so I'll place it on the ground. And I'll make a whole block of stacks, a stack of blocks. Um, grow trees. Yeah, I I feel like dark oak is the hardest one to grow because you'll need four saplings. And so we really just need to find... Uh, yeah, from here it's not looking good. I think back there maybe chat. Uh, is anyone here like a botanist or something? The what's what's over there? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it's dark oak. So if we want dark oak, we're just we're rolling the dice. But ultimately, you know, this whole thing is rolling the dice. So I'm totally down with that. I can't believe I finally found eye offenders and they happened. To so okay, we could also make soul torches. Soul torches is just sticks. Coal and soul sand. No, I can't. I can't make soul torches. Max render distance. Oh, that's a good idea if we turn up our render distance. Even just temporarily. We'd get a lot more use out of those stacks. So, um... You haven't seen soul sand or soul soil yet. Yeah, what was the other block before that? Was it... It was a minecart, right? I think it was a minecart. Um, use coordinates. Let's see if we can turn coordinates on. Usually the... <laughs> Whatever, okay. The, apparently they've turned off uh, achievements for me anyway for some reason. I mean, actually it makes sense in a map like this because you get diamonds too easily. Um, you could make minecarts in theory. Okay, how do I make minecarts? Um, we haven't seen iron blocks yet. And iron golems don't give me them. I could probably make super iron blocks, I guess. What was before the minecart, though? I think I got the minecart straight from something. Uh, you got it from a chest. Um, did I break the chest to get a minecart? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm in the money now, chat. I, I'm really, really close to something great. Iron ingots. Where do I get iron ingots from? If I can find iron ingots, I think I'll find them. Yeah, something has given me iron ingots. I got two of them earlier. Uh, uh, you can craft chests easier. Did I, did I break a chest to get a minecart? If I did, then yeah, we, we found the solution. I don't recall it being that way, though. That's exciting. If, you, if you're turning on toggles, give yourself access to slash locate. Uh, I prefer the visual way of like, it'll, it'll feel like more of a fun thing when we do. Yeah, let's make a chest. If so, I don't remember it being that way, but I'm happy to accept that I was wrong. Um, I You know, I like, I'm, I'm trying to memorize all of these like little versions of things is tricky. Uh, so let's break this. No, that gave me a dark oak sign, or a spruce sign, which gives me an orange flower, which gives me a bamboo, which gives me a uh, one of these, which gives me one of these, <laughs> which gets me over here, which gets me over here, which gets me back to this, <laughs> which gets me to a blue bed, which gets me to one of these, and then that's a dead end. You had it stored in a chest. Yeah, so I found it from a, um, I, I, I don't know where I got it from before the chest. I think it was just this guy. Um, also, I've got another bucket of tadpole. Do you want it, friend? You can have it. Oh, another lucky block. How very kind. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to find myself a roof forest. Then they feel like they're too common all the time. I, I feel that way at least. I can check maybe. Yeah, I, I think... Um, the most... Yeah, maybe maybe that'd be useful. I'd appreciate it, Big Salmon. By the way, Big Salmon edited their first video today. Um, 
I, uh, today, if you, if you like today's video, you gotta say thanks Big Salmon in the comments, and then confuse all the Java players a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a real thing. Congrats Big Salmon says Mega vs Prime. You're right, I, very, very, very impressed with them. Thanks Big Salmon. <laughs> We should all be saying thank you, Big Salmon, in our day-to-day -day life more, really. It's, you know, one day, Big Salmon won't be there anymore. And we'll all realize... It, you know, it's funny, the, the slice command makes it seem significantly more likely uh, to see Big Salmon on a Java edition sometime soon, huh? I, I've had very serious conversations with people being like, yeah, we've actually worked out if... Uh, we, we've we actually had to consider if Bedrock players would be okay with... Uh, or rather, if uh, Java players want the big salmon, or if that's like okay parity, um, which is a funny thing to think, at least. Um, thanks, big salmon. Uh, somehow, I haven't made a big salmon skin. That is the really shocking bit, isn't it? Also, I think. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, that is that's roof. See, I, I to me, I think when you get really frustrated, I understand why some people are like, haha, I'm just gonna give up and search some other way. But finding stuff manually is still pretty fun. Oh, um, this, my drink has a, um, has a bee on it, by the way, and it's meant to taste like honey. It tastes nothing like honey. It tastes like pain with a side of pain. But, uh, I, I like my weird drinks, and if something comes, comes in a tiny can and costs a dollar forty-eight in New Jersey, then who am I to say no? So, yeah, this, if, assuming that was Dark Oak Leafs earlier, I'm in the money now. I'm gonna have so many eye offenders. <laughs> Is your drink tiny, or have you become a giant recently? Oh, I used the, uh, slash attribute command. You drank the bee stinger. Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah, they're trying to be like, yeah, this stings like a bee. Well, flies like a butter butterfly and stings like a bee. It's this tiny can. Um, to get likes doing things the hard way. I feel like I don't like taking away challenge from myself sometimes. And sometimes it is actively fun to give yourself a challenge. Everyone kind of understands that with hardcore. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah, chat. I am so pleased. Everything came together for this moment right here. I now have more high offenders than I know what to do with. And let's see which way we're gonna fly. It's that way. I mean, which way they've gotta fly. I can't do any flying. Actually, you know what? Maybe, I'm surprised we never found an Elytra. Do you think if I kept combining my stuff together, I would eventually get one? I'm kinda curious. Um, but yeah, let's keep fo following. Uh, every time they break, we're gonna get somewhere different, by the way. But this is the way we need to go. So let's see where it takes us. Um, this this is a very fun little... I I feel like this is the reward for all of those struggles. Me sitting on that beach and being like, oh, why is it like this? This is the end result that I wanted from it. And I'm glad that it's the end result I'm getting. Um, I've got to eat Enchanted Gold Naples just to stay alive here. I'm, I, I've got the ludicrous OP gear. So this was genuinely slightly easier than a regular playthrough. It just took a lot more, like, planning and strategy. And to me, that's sometimes a lot of fun. So we're still going this way. Probably for quite a while. When you get to these sorts of coordinates, you can be going forever for a uh, stronghold. But it'll be just fine. I, um... <clears throat> Holy crap, that's a lot, says uh, Renee Williams. Honest, be honest with me, chat. Have you ever in legit survival had more than 50 eye offenders in a stack? It's weird because it's one of those items where it's rare you go above 20. Like, even 20 would be excessive. Because most people aren't going to the end multiple times. I did it for a Let's Play episode once, which I thought was fun. But, um, yeah, it's rare people go much past that. Maybe, maybe disappointingly. So, um, yeah, with that said, we're now jumping our way up. Getting ourselves to the only place I need to be. Which is uh, underneath the ground and in a stronghold. You'll see. I, it's weird how eye offenders go of 16, but not ender pearls. <laughs> I made this point in um, a recent video. I had 16 ender pearls plus one extra in a non-stack. And the easiest way to reduce my inventory down was to turn them into eye offenders. It's like, but what What changed? If anything, they should be bulkier now. But I didn't question it too much. Um, I just accepted that sometimes Minecraft be the way Minecraft be. That's going to be the village. It's going to be below that. This is where my where I've got to go. And the cool thing is, I've got Enchanted Golden Apples, so like, <laughs> I can jump down the mountain like this. What, what's going to happen? Oh no. Is it going to take a while to regenerate? Oh, that's a shame, huh? Uh, I'm going to break the hay bales here. Actually, yeah, I, I wanted this village all game long. 
And so I'm, I just have to know, what does give, Beetroot give me? Beetroot gives me ice. Frosted ice, which is the type that you can't do anything with. Um, wheat gives me skull senses, <laughs> as well as vex spawns. And, uh, yeah, you know, I, I want to have some fun with this. I want to see everything in this village so bad. Like, what what do you get when you break a furnace? You get a, a, a spawn egg for a frog. <laughs> I could have brought those to the never with me. Would have been handy. But, yeah, I can I can do this. Or I can throw another eye offender. See where that one leads me. Oh, it went that way, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Wait, why did the first one go down if that one's going to go up? Oh, interesting. Sometimes they go down, sometimes they go up. And then we're just going to dig straight down. Um... Here's the great bit. I am now so OP, falling into lava won't kill me. I'd have to fall over 50 blocks. I should have, you know, actually, I should get a bed, really, shouldn't I? Okay, yeah, that's uh, just to be, just to be careful. Everyone, everyone loves a careful person. Um, pro tip, even when you're this OP, you, you could still die. Actually, I've got a Tudman dying. Chat, re make bets on right now. Uh, will I die during this end fight? I feel like... Uh, not dying during an end fight is a, uh, you know, it's like it's not an impossible thing to do. But also, I am the sort of person that will push things probably a bit too far. So I'm just gonna, for my own safety, have a bed that's right here. Easy stuff. And then we're gonna hop right back down. Jump in. See that right there? I can make a fool that big. It's no issue to me. And if I eat another enchanted golden apple, now I can take an even bigger fool. It's, uh, depends on if the, uh... If the seed is the endless end. We don't talk about the endless end seed. I, to this day, regret. Uh, you know, like, I, I, at the time, it was probably good to, like, finish a series when people... Because, um, you know, I, I don't want to give too much backstory. It was the, uh, I had a UHC series. I was doing 25 days per stream. And, uh, I, you know, I, I just had one of the big, you know, like, uh... Trouble events in my life. My, uh, you know, my mother died uh, very unexpectedly. It was very, very emotionally confusing week. But I'm like, I, I, I got a stream, got to get this through. And uh, I, it happened to be that my stream in the series was where I was going to go to an end I'd never faced before. And I gave it my all. I felt like I did pretty well given the circumstances. But um, yeah, I did not, in fact, succeed. Um, you'll be, you'll be surprised to learn. Also, I cannot find the stronghold. Uh, I'm gonna start digging around, but I am concerned. Hello, been a fan since like 2014 lol. Where, where would you say 1.21 ranks on the last several updates? I like it, but was hoping for an end update. So Andrew, um, Senosek, I, um, there's a, there's a little bit of like a dead time coming in terms of like update news, which means we get to do like some of the fun like in review stuff for an update. I am going to be reviewing the update soon, uh, just to, like, everything so far on the update in terms of what could be improved, what could do better. And, uh, but as far as, uh, to answer your question, I would like to say, also I'm getting so many minecart rails. <laughs> uh, to answer your question directly, um, I do not, I, I, I think that Minecraft is, um, you know, like, kind of working out where they want to go with updates. And not everyone is necessarily satisfied perfectly of the answers they're giving on it right now. Um, but I I do think 1.21 isn't a bad update. I love the trial chambers as a concept. And, oh, please, you've got to not do this to me when I'm in a cave. Do I have any light sources on me? I, I haven't needed light this entire time, but I'm starting to think that maybe I do. So I'm going to try something fun, actually. I've never seen this as a strategy before because it wouldn't usually be a good one. If I eat chorus fruit, will it teleport me into the stronghold? No, it won't. I thought that would have been genius. But that's not genius. Maybe if I get all the way down here, and then I mine like a few blocks this way. Okay, chat. I'm 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 about to revolutionize the stronghold finding game, right? The chorus fruit will teleport me through the cave and into the stronghold. Okay. I haven't found the stronghold. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you here. I um I would like to find the stronghold. But I don't know where. Uh I guess I could just dig up slowly and see if I don't find it eventually. It's um, it's one of those things where like, this is where like having the tiniest bit of X-ray vision would make a lot lot of difference. But also, um, you know, I, I you know, it's not it's not like I have anywhere to be, uh, you know, Minecraft. Not not like I have a you know a date with some some very cheap pastries. 
But yeah, I think I think if you if this happens to you, just to give you advice, um, what I recommend doing is generally just digging around. Uh, you should find it soon enough. Oh, so that's weird, unexpected place to find him. Um, because this is a goofy world that has, apparently has cheats enabled already, though, we can just we can literally just. Where is it? Where where is the? Did, are my eye offenders lying to me? Okay, no, it's just it's just up. That's all it is. It's just up. Uh, I, I needed to know it was there. I'm glad. I'm glad I checked. Um, and now we can get out of here and go towards the actual stronghold, which is up and in this direction. Um, grasping at straws, lol, says Timothy Cedars. Time for the x-ray of uh, Java's uh, attribute command. Yeah, the the that, that was one of the weirdest parts of it. It only worked in third person too, which made it seem like it was like semi-intentional. A date. Nice try. Yeah, I've got a date with some pastries, is what I said. Which is technically... Honestly, if you think about a date with a person, people can disappoint you, but pastries cannot. No one has ever said, oh, that pastry was disappointing. You just stop eating the pastry when it disappoints you. You can't do the same with a person. You gotta... You know, it's like a... I... I had this conversation with someone recently. Chat, this this is a, this is a, a heavy discussion for a Minecraft stream where I'm randomly breaking detector rails. But, um... Do you have any friends or family, you know, do you have like a loved one who's in a relationship they constantly say they don't want to be in? Because I, you know, like to my mind, it's like, yeah, that's such a abnormal, weird thing. But it has happened in my life like several times. I've like known someone to be like that. And so I wonder, is that the norm? Or is that like, oh no, you just got some, got some dysfunctional people around you. Talking, Was that a creeper ready to explode for me? That's fun. But uh, yeah, we're now in the stronghold. Things are good. I've even got a chest. With some bread, should I want them? Uh, I'm gonna just put some garbage away, just because you know we're going we're going somewhere formal. And uh, yeah, I saw an end portal. I'm pretty sure, or maybe I just saw a stronghold. But I, I should be able to find one of those fairly soon. I hope. Let's go find our way through this. What we gonna find? Lots of copper. That's useful. Lots of andesite. That's useful. I love pastries too. Um, Sorry, I missed a uh, pastry. F chug. It's okay. You know, if, if you think about it, uh, you know, if if you miss the word pastry, maybe it's because I didn't say it correctly. I think about this a lot. The um, it is my job as a communicator to make sure that like no easy message should be missed. Sometimes there's like some fresh. Oh, okay. Not what I was expecting. Um, not what I was expecting at all. Very cool to find. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of these. Skeletons that are spawning. Um, man, there's just so many too. It feels like they're like way over spawning. But we got some bones in there. That'd be useful if we continue this well done. Bone me up some more plants myself. But um, yeah, I'm just here to find the stronghold, which I'm sure I will do soon. Okay, well, ignore that. Wait, stronghold and portal. Same stuff. So this is the entrance, I'm pretty sure. I have no, no, no idea why I'm so sure of that fact. But this is going to be the staircase in. Yes, it is. And from here, we're going to start looking. There is always a path from here to the end portal. So let's go looking for it. Is this it? This is not it. I don't know why you can feel very early on if you're going the right way or not. That's just a feeling. It's not a fact. It's very much a subjective vibes thing. Oh, there's a door back here. That'd be fun if that led me to the stronghold. But I'm going to assume that it doesn't. So uh, now we're going to go back up. All the way to the top. Go back to this main room. Or actually make another turn. Just in case this leads me somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I see it. I see it, right? Yeah. And then I've got 51, so I don't even have to worry about placing them wrong. Oh, yeah. Just go crazy on this one. Okay, got silverfish. You're in the end now. See, they've got a real chance of killing me if they do this wrong. So I'm going to be careful with them. But let's go in there. Let's kill ourselves a dragon. I'm going to stack up real quick, quickly. No, 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 no. Don't you do this. No. Silverfish! This isn't okay! <laughs> oh, they knock you so much for an animal so tiny, they should not be ruling. The entire challenge almost fell to a silverfish that went in the portal. Oh, okay, we're here now. That's what matters. I'm, uh, I'm gonna spend my time pursuing things that matter now, such as killing a dragon and making sure that I can say the challenge is fully complete. So unlike on Java, where I had to take down these towers, on Bedrock, no such thing exists. Um, if I had any projectiles, that'd be handy. Can you throw eye vendors in the end? You can't. You physically won't let you. 
Would be useful if I could. Should have saved some ender pearls for that. No, I didn't have any ender pearls. <laughs> I, could, I, I could not have saved any, even if I really wanted to. And so I'll mine some end stone because I'm curious what it turns into. Armor stand. Oh, he's so loud. One sec. Let me let me let me just save you some save your ears some effort. Oh, it's still so loud. It's still so loud. Oh, I don't hear anything in my life. I just hear dragon now. And then we're gonna stack up to one of these and just take down the tower. Just because I think it's fun. At some point I'm gonna have to get used to doing this again on bedrock. So I might as well be ready now. Oh, is she back in the center? See, I always waste my life doing these. So we're just gonna... Okay, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Everything's okay. Gonna eat another enchanted apple. And burst through this thing, except you can't do that. It's such an interesting difference in my opinion. And then we're gonna break down. Oh, but not in the bad way. And okay. Gonna eat another enchanted golden apple. You know, this fight, it's, it feels a little lopsided. I'm gonna be honest with you here. I feel as though uh, the sides are not perfectly balanced. Okay. So thankfully, the dragon attacking me has solved my enderman issue. And I just eat another enchanted golden apple if I feel like I'm threatened. <laughs> Things are very, very good for me right now, let me say. Let me say that much. I could slowly take down the rest of the towers, but I think I'm going to be faster off just waiting. It's fun to do them sometimes, but it's more fun to wait casually for this. Hello, dragon. How you doing? I would like to sell some snacks to you. Would you like to buy them? That's okay. I I also feel the high pressure sales tactics are not very good uh, in this economy. And I understand why you would want to leave in exchange for that. But if you would like to come back, I will give you my number. Or, because it's 2023 and a phone number means a lot, I'll give you like a social media handle at IBX click at you can, you can follow me there, send me a tweet whenever you're ready. Uh, or, you know, or don't, because you're not. That I hear I hear all the Ender Dragons are leaving social media right now. Send send me a, send me a, I don't know, like a, 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 a postcard from wherever it is that you spend most of your time. If you could do that, I'd appreciate it greatly. Um, yeah, this is the most chill end fight I've ever had. Gotta say, I'm having a great time right now. I've got my friend over here. He's liking it too. I can give him, I can give him all my detector rails <laughs> that I've somehow picked up. Wait, did I just get a neverite ingot somehow? Where did that come from? Do Endermen drop neverite ingots? It's a pretty cool drop in so huh? I'm just gonna really slam this guy through his frog. Cat for dragon. <laughs> I um, it is crazy to think um. That the oh okay, it is crazy to think at one point the way you would meet someone is just be like, yep, here is my, here are my details of how you can contact me at any hour of the day. Please give it to me. Also, dragon, come in again, please. Am I gonna have to take down your towers? I don't have any crossbows. You know I don't. You know how painful that is for me. Okay, thank you for coming back. Glad you understand my situation. Are you gonna continue the series afterwards? Says uh, is it Gonzalez? I do feel like the problem with the very OP stuff is like, I spent most of the run struggling hard. But now that I'm here, right, it's like, well, the challenge is mostly gone. I'm um, gonna throw a couple of leggings on the ground. Um, okay. Gonna just, uh, I'm, I'm gonna start doing some fun crafty stuff. Um, so throw that on the ground too. Let him pick it all up. Oh, we got another lucky block. So I can build myself a little lucky tower or something. Might even knock up more crystals. Uh, you used to have to talk to the girl's parents when they answered the phone. That's fun to imagine. You'd have to make up some story like, Hello, I am the plumber. I am here to speak to your 13-year-old daughter. Please do not question this. If you do question this, please call me at ABC Plumbing and tell me my behavior is inappropriate. But in the meantime, let me talk to your daughter so I can tell her where she should meet me. You know, this is a great idea. I would, I would, be, I would be great at calling girl's parents. Um... Yeah, it's a, um, you know, let's, let, let's, let's treat ourselves to some super lucky blocks. Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's have at least a few more of these before the, before the run is over anyway. Let's see how this one goes for me. Um, oh, is it going to be something fun? A crossbow could be real good for me right now. I'm just saying, hit, hit, Miss Dragon, or Mrs. Dragon. If you really do one of those. Um, I would just like to lay some pipe with your daughter, says Big Salmon. 
Uh, okay, you know what? That, that might be too much to say to someone. Or maybe it's just the right amount. I've never, I've never been a, uh, someone who's had a plumber call their daughter. I, I wouldn't know the uh, circle top. But what I do know is that despite the ridiculousness of this challenge, I have officially just killed the ender dragon while using nothing but randomized loot. It took me so long, but on my world, I worked it out. Could I do it any faster? Probably. Will you see that? Probably not. But what you will see is on Saturday, my last stream for Streamless uh, for December. It will be a member font. It will be an hour long, but every member we get will add a minute to the timer. So if you've been looking at a membership, Saturday might be a great opportunity to do so. Um, again, read the description on that. I know there's going to be some people being like, I'm confused by the rules. So I'll put it all in the description. And right now, um, at the end of this stream, you'll actually be redirected to that. Um, because that's a fun thing YouTube does now. Uh, so go check it out. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this because I look forward to seeing you on, wait, Saturday. Yeah. See, see you Saturday. Have a Merry Christmas. And a happy new Saturday. Bye. Wait. Yeah, bye. Wait, wait.